Welcome to Snowmobile Sessions Live on YouTube and your favorite podcast platform. We're the number one destination to learn about snowmobiling, network with other sledders, and have an awesome time doing it. We'll meet other snowmobilers that share your passion and show your fan photos along the way. Snowmobile Sessions Live. Enjoy the ride. It's a journey. This episode of Snowmobile Sessions Live is brought to you by Energy Power Sports, Oakville's full-line BRP dealer with sales and service to all BRP models and so much more. You got to check out the Lumacraft boats. They're awesome. We were in there last week, grabbed an oxygen helmet. You should too. Check out energypowersports.ca. They rock and they're awesome. And John Luke wants to say hi. There we go. And look at Rich tonight, Bobby. He's invisible. You can't even see him. He's got, <laughs> he's got hair now. He's oh, Rich yeah. has got hair. <laughs> and his beard's gotten smaller. <laughs> Welcome aboard. This is Swanky Cat for everybody that hasn't seen the thumbnail. It's no surprise. What's going on, guys? Happy to be here. Not too, not too much. And look at what's on his desk there, chat. Look what's on his desk there. Ah, uh, yeah. Cheers, exactly. buddy. I'm going to have to grab another one already. Cheers. You should. Grab your cat, too, while you're up as well. We need, we need to see it. Uh, I'll yell to the wife and tell her to send him down. Yeah. <laughs> so did you get out with snowmobiling this weekend, Bobby? Yeah. I, uh, we had a decent ride, 110 miles. First time we got over 100 this season. Finally came together. And uh, it was funny. We were uh, headed to our lunch spot, and I pull off of, like, a trail, and there's a snowcross race going on. And I'm like, let's go. This worked out nice. So we were able to That's pop in awesome. and yeah, we watched like a little local circuit, not the full on pros, but you know, still had all the mod pipes and all that. So it was fun to watch. How That's about you? Sweet. Oh yeah, we did. I got out with uh, Corey again on Sunday. I muted you there, Ben. Um, so you're going to have to unmute your microphone when you, when you want to chat because I could hear, I could hear your wife yelling at you. <laughs> was <a> cat. <laughs> there on my back. Oh no, that was my, that was, yeah, yeah. That was my wife yelling at me. Yeah, so Corey, I met up with Corey and the Hillsburg Snow Roamers, uh, and we had a fairly. It was we had a short ride yesterday, but uh, but uh, they kept going. They did 300k, and I think we did 170 some odd kilometers, so just over 100 miles we did. Um, nice. But Drew got his sled back. Uh, big shout out to Backyard Recreation, Adam Furlong. Um, he pulled out all the stops and he fixed that rattle that was under the front end that i showed you guys last uh last week and the thing looks as good as old heck yeah <laughs> i couldn't remember so, how you uh, referred to it if it was rattle or what so i, I didn't know what to say <laughs> mm -hmm. With the slight rattle did you yes. see the slight rattle under the front end of that swanky I, I mean you've had your share of bad bad luck on the on the sleds <laughs> Yep. Yeah, we've uh, we've had some interesting interesting mishaps, but we've always made it home one way or another. So that's what yeah, it's all about. Right? Is, that's, it is totally, totally. And you know, you get some battle scars and bruises, and and he learned from it too because we we were a lot slower a lot yesterday. So it uh, it it wakes you up. That's for sure. Yeah. So who we got in the chat here? We got Rich Outdoors. We miss you on on the live. Uh, Mr. Snow Rocks uh, says, are we not allowed to see Arctic Cats on YouTube? Is that why it's blurred? No, I just had a crappy picture. Dominator 286, hello, hello, hello. And thank you, Dominator, for setting this up. He got us uh, He got us the old swanker on here tonight. Yep. We have uh, Zap Swagger, of course. He likes a new video. Keep up the good work. Uh, Joe Snowmobilers. Uh, we got Dustin Ingram. Yeah, big supporter. Hey, boys, how you doing on this beautiful Monday night? The Falcon. Hey, Mud Brats. Wonder why you're not uploading the podcast. Apple Podcasts. I'm behind two, but I'm going to get them out this week, okay? That's just a test to Falcon to see if you're listening. There <laughs> you go. How's it going? That's from Matthew Nicholson. Shag Boys is in the house. Hey, everyone. Uh, who else? Noble Shit's in there. Absolutely. Miller Light. I'm drinking at La Lagunitas. Hmm. Gary, back to the internet and, issues. Uh, uh -oh. Dominators is <laughs> glad to help. Oh. I think we lost him again. Yep. 
Either that he'll or be back. Really still. <laughs> yeah, he'll be back. It's all right. So, uh, hmm, where do we go from here? So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Swanky? Uh, where did it all start? First sled, that type of thing. Sure. Okay. So I actually did not buy my first sled until I think it was 2016. Uh, so I was like 25, I believe, or 26 when I bought it. Um, I really didn't get into power sports until I was older. I think I bought my first bike when I was 18 and then kind of moved to quads and then dual sport and uh, and sleds after that. And actually, the the first sled that I started making videos on, that Polaris uh, 600 Dragon, that was my first sled. And then just uh, two years ago now, I moved to my uh, F1100. Awesome. So, yeah. I love it. I like it. it. I like the Pro Cross chassis. You enjoying it? I am. Yeah. Uh, the snow that we've had now uh, has been a little bit strange. And I guess I'm really only on my fourth ride for the year. Um, and I'm kind of thinking maybe I need to throw some single runners on there. It's got the dual like eight inch or nine inch carbides on it. And I still, I feel like I get too much push and I, maybe I'm just lazy and I don't like to get on the side, you know, enough to get it to, to really turn like I want it to. But yeah, other than that, um, yeah, I, I love it. Nice. That's awesome. I mean, it's a four stroke, so that's a lot of sled to get on the side of, you know, so yeah. you definitely want a good carbide under there. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It wasn't studied when you got it either, was it? The, uh, the Arctic cat. The one I have now, it was studied. Yeah. It was studied. It was the other yeah. one that wasn't studied. Cause that's the thing we, yep. we had chatted about that. So yep. yeah, come on, Gary, the internet you use is like skidoo slow, LOL. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> my, I don't, you know what it is. My son usually works Monday nights and he's at home. And he built this new computer, and it's been since he built the new computer that I've been having issues with this. So mm. I might have to go down and kick him up. Noble Shit says to Rev Rider, what, what do you mix your Coca-Cola with, Rev Rider? I hope it's alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Tony that cool. Katz says, Tony Cat Ben, Tony Cat says, wow, a cat guy. Kudos. See? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so... I don't know. I think he's our first cat guy. Well, no, we had Digit Nine. He's a cat guy. So, yeah. Mark Bo took one of those out for a ride last weekend at LXR Seven Thousand. Nice. Is that about the same, Ben? Uh, that is going to be the motor out of the Yamaha Nitros. So that oh, when, when they kind of when they kind of got together and and put their their motor in the the Pro Cross chassis, that was kind of what they what they ended up with was the the Yamaha motor in the the Arctic Cat sled. So that's that would be like technically mine is the F1100, which is just for you know 1100 cc's. But when they once they got together, then they kind of changed the nomenclature and went to uh, mine would be technically a ZR5000, and then they've got mm -hmm. the 6000, which is a two stroke, and then the 7000 would be the four stroke Yamaha. They had a lot of engines for a couple of years there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit confusing. But. Keeps it exciting. You but never know I, what you're going to get. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I don't know if you have to Shag, add oil or change it. Yeah. Shag, Shag Boy says he's a closet cat guy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I said you're a closet something. I'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> I can get interested in a four-stroke snowmobile. Why compromise like that for something that doesn't improve performance? What's that? He must have meant I can't. Hmm. Oh, he did. He said like, he cannot. Oh, we're not listening to you, Noble. No. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, we're going to get back to you, uh, Swanky Cat, but you want to join us for some uh, fan photos? Yeah, of course. Yeah. But before we do that, uh, guys, we have a giveaway happening on the show uh, tonight, and it's from 2B Outerwear. Hopefully you guys uh, know what 2B Outerwear is, but uh, they're giving away – a Novo 3 mono suit value, valued at $900 US dollars or $1199.95 Canadian. So you're not going to believe it. And like I said, giving away this 100% waterproof, 100% windproof 2B outerwear Novo 3 mono suit. You know, all you have to do is enter. I'm going to post the link, okay? But it's at 2beoutwear.com slash pages slash snowmobile hyphen sessions. And we'll announce the giveaway live on Wednesday at noon. So that's Eastern Standard Time. So we're going to post the link very shortly. But uh, we're going to get into the, the fan photos. I'll, post, but I'll, I'll put some photos of this, 
this kick-ass monosuit in there as well. It's pretty awesome and very generous of, uh, of 2B Outerwear to do this for us. So let's get this started. All right, here, I got to go big on this one. Where are we here? There we go. There it is. All right, <laughs> who's that guy? There That's he is, he made it to the Ford. show. <laughs> he did, he makes it to the show one way or another. So he was riding up in uh, Halberton. This is from middle of the week, he bagged off work, and I don't know whether I'm supposed to say that or not. He was on the road for work uh, this week, so... Um, this isn't when he took this photo. This is from three years ago. <laughs> There's Rich, one of our CF-18, uh, I think it's a CF-18 warplane there. It's pretty awesome. And then he sent a picture of his beast there. Sweet. Nice deep snow on the rail line. Oh, yeah. And there he is, in case you miss his smiling face right there. <laughs> so, we got to get I'm him like some a new gear, though, that that hat, the lo he buys the hats on discount with the backwards logos on them. Ain't save some money. <laughs> so we'll, we'll we'll fix them up. A little hey. bit of a misprint. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> there we go. But he was dying to be on the show tonight. He's in the chat as much as he can. So he's uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm sure you can chat with him over there. And it, he, Finn O'Connell, Swanky, he says your basement's sick, man. They want to know where you Thank were. You. They thought you had a, you had got a studio. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Actually, I built this specifically for the channel, but now for the last year, I've been using it for my real job. So now, when I work on channel stuff, I go somewhere else. Actually, <laughs> just so I don't have to stay down yeah. here. No kidding. No kidding. Yeah. So yeah. So that was rich. He didn't send me any. Um, he didn't send me any verbiage to go with it, but he. Uh, he got him in before noon on Monday, so that's a good thing. There so, you go. That's unlike, the most important. Unlike to, yeah, unlike to be outerwear that didn't, that's why I'm a little behind the eight ball on it. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's the. Uh, oop, I'll, I'll have to put those pictures up there. I've been, I've been behind the eight ball as usual. That's the way I work, though, right, guys? Oh yeah. So that's wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. And then we got Tad Hershey. He's been a he's been active with us a lot. I just gotta find my thing. He says, What's he say here? He says, Hey Gary Rich and Bobby and and Swanky Cat. Great video chat last week. Here are a couple of pics from our January 23rd, 2020 trip to Grand Mar Marais, Michigan. These pictures are from Trail 9 headed into Pine Stump Junction. My buddy has some health issues, so we took him out for a ride. That's awesome. Yeah. I let him borrow my wife's wrap 12, 2012 Renegade 800 E-Tech and the other sleds, my 19 Renegade XRS 858 E-Tech, a 2010 Yamaha Nitro XTX, and a 2014 Yamaha Viper. As you can see from the second picture, the trails are finally shaping up in the eastern UP. That's pretty cool, eh? Oh, that's, yeah. That's great. Take them out. Let them rip. Mm. Oh yeah! Look at the how deep. So, Frankie, you're uh, freezing. Yeah, we. What's he say that? You're back, I think. Oh, looks like he's gone. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Oh, I'm coming. <laughs> now you're just a black screen I, I know that's brutal isn't it <laughs> can you hear me i yeah. can hear you yeah just can't see you that's kind of weird isn't it yeah good lord i'm gonna make sure my son works every week <laughs> running these problems here i'm gonna try it again hold on a second here right. just... <laughs> tony cat says that canadian internet <laughs> <laughs> this used to be me when we first started doing the show but i got an ethernet oh, yeah. cable so uh still a black yeah. screen 
And he's gone. Nope. <laughs> Gave up first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much in the middle of nowhere, but they ran fiber optic cable out here like two years ago. And Ooh. instead of paying 90 a month for just like a few gigs of satellite, now we get unlimited at like 60 megabits or something like that, maybe even faster now for like 60 bucks. So that's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's the way to go. Absolutely. Yeah. Makes uploading the YouTube videos a lot easier. Yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't take all night anymore. It used to. Yeah. And that would eat up all of our all of our high speed stuff. So we'd have to pretty much uh, try to upload them like overnight because then you had free or you had a certain amount of paid high speed and then you had free, you know, whatever at night or whatever. So I like yeah. try to schedule uploads at like two AM. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> so I didn't eat up all the all the Netflix bandwidth yeah. that you wanted to use. So that's funny. So uh, you do obviously adventure bike stuff and sled stuff. What yep. do you enjoy more? What what works out better for your channel? Uh, well, actually, when I started out on the KLR, um, that I, I think helped me out. Uh, obviously, the, that, that bike, if you've really heard anything online at all, uh, people either love it or hate it. And the people that love it uh, apparently really like to watch videos on it. But that was kind of slow going to begin with. Um, and then once I jumped to start doing sled videos, all of a sudden those really kind of took off and those are doing a lot better than the motorcycle ones were. Uh, but then since I bought the, the Tenere 700 this past year, uh, those videos were doing uh, even better than the sled videos were. So kind of kind of been going back and forth. But uh, yeah, I, I, I probably like doing the motorcycle videos more just because you don't have to switch out batteries as often. Oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> I mean, this year, I, I don't know what's going on. I've had absolutely terrible luck, and it, it's been cold. Um, the last time that I went out, I went out twice this weekend, but the, the first time I went out, I had to change batteries like three times, and it was like negative three out when I was riding, so that that wasn't fun to do. Your fingers don't work so well when it's that cold out. Yeah, so. <laughs> for sure. Uh, what generation GoPro do you run? Uh, I've got two Hero 4s, and I've got a Hero 3 that I kind of lend out when I ride with other people. Nice. That's smart. It's always good to get that like extra shot. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. How you doing, Gary? <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I'm here, but I got to change this up a bit. So just bear okay. with me, folks. No problem. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, have to, was, we're kicking it old. We're kicking it old school again. Just a big old green wall. <laughs> yeah. No. Here we go. Um. We got to do this the way that we used to do these things. Anyway, the fans don't care, do they? At the end of the day, as long as our smiling faces are here, that's all that counts. That's the important part. Okay, let me see if I can get this up here. All right, there we go. Perfect. This will do it. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I, I just totally lost my camera and everything, so I don't know. I don't know what uh, what part of my technology is failing tonight, but something is. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So anyway, that was that was Tad. Where are we going here? Oh, let's see. I was pushing the wrong control, and that's where we were looking at the great snow and blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, that's good. And then, then we got uh, Derek Roth here. I got to get this down here so we can see this here. Um. He says, got to do some radar runs this weekend and had a blast. He didn't get close to first or third, but he still had an awesome time, LOL. So there we go. That's good, eh? Absolutely. Cool. Hard to tell what that sled oh, is. Too. Definitely a do, but almost looks like a free yeah, ride definitely. with that black tunnel. I'm not sure. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure either because I don't know what, what they made in gray, like whether he's actually put free ride panels on a – on a renegade or something it's definitely got a long tunnel on it but looks good yeah. man he's got a little bit of ski the skis are floating there whatever he's on hooking up pretty good. cool yeah yeah absolutely so and then john reed didn't send a photo in but he says you mentioned muskoka freerider last week so i started watching his youtube channel i can see why he's accumulated so many subscribers in such a short period of time he's an awesome rider and seemingly great fellow with some of the best, most steady content I've seen in a long time. Also sent him a comment and received a response, which was nice. He has to sleep, eat, breathe what he's doing. He really likes the channel. Ah, glad to help. We, we try and 
get people to stop watching us as much as we can, don't we, Rev? <laughs> <laughs> Send yeah. them on to other channels, you know. <laughs> yeah. Do not, do not watch us. All right. You have to go somewhere else. Have you ever drag race like a, like a, um, a? Uh, have you ever ran a radar run or anything like that? Either one of you guys? Nope. I have not. No. Nope. No. Nope. I've, uh, I've run down the tracks after they end the the radar runs, but I've never actually uh, gotten to be on the gun. How about you, Gary? Uh, no, but I want to do that. I was yeah. supposed to go to one last uh, two years ago and never did. That was with my 800. But I'd really like to take Roscoe for sure to to uh, to see what he can do. But I definitely yeah. want to I, I definitely want to drag a 600 R and see how close it is, if it is in contention or not yet. But away we go. But uh, I also put up there the, the link and I put it in both our chats to go on here and fill out the ballot um, for the to win the the. 100% waterproof, 100% windproof, 2B Novo 3 mono suit. It's a $1,199.95 Canadian value, $900 US. So get on there and uh, and check it out. Okay. 2B outerwear slash dot com slash pages slash snowmobile sessions. And here I'm going to, now that I'm sharing the screen the old fashioned way, I can actually show you guys a picture of this here. I just got to, uh, to find it here there we go you guys see that yeah nice isn't that awesome yeah Beauty. very generous of them yeah yeah it's awesome wow. Fans are have better gear than we do <laughs> oh yeah no kidding right no kidding <laughs> so get on there you've got till wednesday morning to to fill out the ballot um get on there and do it and uh yeah, there's a, the link right up on screen there. So I'll leave that up there while we do that. I'll take this picture down. We'll put more pictures up in a second, and away we go. And then we've got – see, this isn't going to work. Now I don't have my sound effects. Hopefully you can hear this if I launch this one. There we go. Uh, There we go. There it is. Michigan Outlaws. <laughs> so remember last week, eh? So he says, this is Jake from the Outlaws. He says, uh, hey, Gary, since my girlfriend's cat was so interested in my snowmobile and your podcast, I thought I might let it take my sled for a ride. Here's Jasper, the outlaw, riding the old Rev. Well, Keep awesome. up the great work on, on the podcast. It's fun tuning in every Monday. You like? I knew you'd like that, Swanky. I do. Yeah, of course. You and you know what? I got another follow-up photo to this one, and uh, and it came from the Worldwide Association of Kitties. Are, are you the president of that? Are you not? <laughs> uh, not and, and, <laughs> so the, the the cats didn't like the first picture. See the the cat on the seat going ah. And then the president said, I'll fix this sled for you. And I don't know if you notice the mod there, but that's that fixed oh, the sled up. And yep. <laughs> the, the Worldwide Association is Kitty's chairperson there is giving you old thumbs up. So there you go. Do you know that cat, Ben? Uh, looks, no, looks I, don't, I don't think so, no. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Thanks for sending that in, Jake. We love to see kitties on screen. You know that, right? <laughs> so <laughs> we're trying to keep it PG today, all right, boys? Doing our best. Look at this guy here, Stephen uh -oh. Valley, riding at the camp in North Jaredville in Quebec, north of Lac St. Jean with my boy. My ride is a 2019 Backcountry XRS and a 2017 Expedition Extreme. A lot of snow compared to Ontario. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's the proverbial uh, Rev Rider 550 Coda Bear TV shot right there, I think. The ultimate stuff. Right yeah. No, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah. But, yeah, it's uh, that's deep. Oh, yeah. So. And then we got Odie. The sled and car guy. I just call him Odie the lucky bugger. 
So he says, uh, he says, Mike K, and that's the guy in the yellow on the MXZX. Mike K and I did 327 kilometers a day. Here are some pictures. Took a few minutes to browse around Swift Rapids locks. Went through several different weather systems all in one day. Great ride. Trails were great, especially after getting 50 centimeters of snow. So that's like, I don't know how many 50 centimeters would be. 30 centimeters is 12 inch. So you're you're almost two feet of snow they got there. Dang. That's wow. wicked. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And then we got Corey B. B Rock. He said, <laughs> hey, Gary, just in case. Mm -hmm. oh. Will he come back? <laughs> Hard to say. Well, that's his sled in the background there, so that's pretty cool. Oh, are, did he move? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. me. Oh, Am I you're back, back now? Yeah, Am I yeah, back? you're back. Well, you were. One sibilance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um. And he's gone. There it is. Uh, okay, so Polaris Articat. Um, hey, boys. Yeah, he's back. Hey. He's cool. Why do you guys keep leaving me? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to kick you out of the show. <laughs> no kidding, eh? It's working. Good. Perfect. Jeez, this is frustrating. No Actually, doubt. if you don't mind, talk about yourself. I'm going to try something. I'm grabbing a pod. Hold on. So when you got your Polaris, was that just by chance, or did you were you attracted to the brand? Uh, no, really, it uh, doesn't matter whether we're talking uh, cars, bikes, sleds, four wheelers. I'm not really too much into brands, uh, one way or another. Doesn't really matter to me. I've always kind of liked Honda uh, as far as motorcycles go, but other than that, I mean, I, I think I've only owned two of those. I I pretty much look for the newest, fastest thing I can buy with. A large amount of miles so it's cheap <laughs> there you go yeah <laughs> that's pretty much how i've that how sounds like my stuff. philosophy <laughs> yeah the the polaris that's had cool. i think nine thousand, like 800 miles on it when i bought it and as far as i knew it never had had never been rebuilt and i actually sold that i think it was last year or the year before and it had thirteen thousand five hundred on it i think Dang. so yeah that, I think that was a lucky it. sled, but <laughs> yeah, that's wicked. Yeah, so that's yeah, a I good mean, way to go. I mean, that way you can try a little bit of everything. I mean, that's the only way to find out if there's something better out there for you. You know, having an open yeah. mind to any brand, any sled. Same with bikes. So definitely, yep, yeah, and like the the whole four stroke thing, and maybe we'll get into that later. But really, I I kind of just wanted to try it out, and I found one that was cheap, and thought I'll give it a go, and you know, it was a, it was a good deal. So if I didn't like it, I could you know sell it again in a year or two. So. Yeah, and a little less skin in the game for you, you know. Being a four stroke, it should last longer. Fingers crossed. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and we can we can kind of talk about that later. But yeah, I've had not such great luck with two strokes, which I think is kind of why I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> nervous about them. I, I shouldn't yeah. say that. I guess I had good luck with my my Polaris, but prior to that. Yeah, yeah, it's dicey, you know. I mean, I, it's funny. I know guys that'll hate on Skidoo or hate on Polaris and one of my least reliable sleds I ever had was a Skidoo. And uh, it was in a time where everyone would have said Skidoo was the most reliable sled they ever built. And then I had a Skidoo that was supposed to be unreliable and it was reliable. So, you know, it's, it's tough to, to call, but you just got to go off your experience, you know, and you had trouble with two strokes. You got to try a four stroke. There's nothing wrong mm. with that at all. Yeah. Hey, listen, we got some house cleaning to do since I was dropping in and out. We got, uh, we got uh, Finn O'Connell. He says, uh, where did Swanky Cat's name come from? <laughs> all right. So uh, in recent years, I'm not I'm not all that weird on my videos, but I, I'm a pretty weird guy. And for whatever reason, before I even knew what the channel was going to be about, honestly, I was calling the, the orange cat that was in a couple of my intros uh, a couple of years ago. I was calling him Swanky because he kind of he's kind of a goofy cat for one thing he doesn't have a tail so he walks around kind of different than another any other cat would I guess and he like he'll lay down and put one arm on the water bowl to drink so I would just I'd call him swanky or swanky cat and uh yeah my wife and I were just coming up with the name and that's uh that's kind of how it happened I guess <laughs> oh that's I awesome 
Yeah, did not own an Arctic at at the time, and now uh, that sort of coincides, I guess now. But that was that was not the plan. <laughs> Came together for you. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, back to the back to the show here, boys. Sorry, I'm keep falling off the the face of the earth, but I think it's going to be one of those nights. I just moved one of those internet boosting pods into this room, so hopefully that helps. So. I do apologize, but uh, we'll just have to deal with it. And if you see me freeze up, just keep going, okay? Um, so anyway, I was riding. You're right, Bobby. That is my sled back there. This is from a few weeks ago when we were up in Midland. So he says, just in case you forget how good you are at taking video and screenshots, here are the photos. Oh, this is what we took yesterday, sorry, from a ride at my local club I volunteer with, the Hillsburg Snow Roamers. Awesome ride. Thanks again. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, we had blasts yesterday. They had tons of snow. Like this is one of those years that we're getting um we're getting stupid amount of snow southern Ontario and it doesn't really seem to be anything different up north. So we don't usually get riding like this where it's consistent. We'll get like snow and then it'll rain and then we'll have to wait. We may get it open again, but we may not. So we've had consistent snow since Christmas, but when we get dumped, we get dumped. And I mean, this is like, look at the drifts he's blasting through here. It's Ooh. wild. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a video of this. This is screenshots from the video. So I'm just riding behind him or beside him and uh, and filming this with my head turned sideways as I drive. So hope I don't hit, hit anything. That's how <laughs> I'm going to go. I think I'll be videotaping someone riding beside me and I'll run into something. <laughs> car, car. Yeah. That's YouTube. Blog. Yeah. That, yeah, it is. That's uh, that almost happened when we, we were doing that O2 Raps video, and I, there was a whole bunch of people on the side of the trail stopped to watch him, and I'm riding along looking like this, and then and all of a sudden I see a guy coming in and go, I go right by him. It's like, oh, okay, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had to cut that part out because it looked like I was doing something I shouldn't have. So yeah, <laughs> that that's all fun. The magic of editing. So. You're good. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, and then Rev Rider 550 sent me this, and I'm wondering if this is BS. So this is the – if you look at the URL, I don't know if you can see. Oh, that's better. The URL on this is preprod, so preproduction.www.skidoo.com, and then it shows the the 2022 20, Skidoo models coming here. And then you've got this page here, which you've got the summit and free ride, spring only. And then the last page, which is the teaser, is the mock. Never settle, leave nothing on the table, take nothing for granted, dominate, repeat. That's the attitude of the mock rider. This is their sled. Sounds like a legit BRP voice on that, eh? It does. From yep. 19599 $19, I don't know. If it looks like a 900 ace turbo though in the picture yeah i would assume that's what they went with with that body style just make it something that can compete with like the sidewinder and stuff you know oh lost him again nope. mid pour too <laughs> <laughs> but yeah uh so gary and i were talking about these to the to the fans in the chat and it's hard to tell if they're real or not um the thing i was saying to gary is if you notice the 2022 sleds that have been shipping the in-season models have link bra link brackets on them, and all these sleds have those. So unless somebody went through and added that, uh, it seems like maybe they're real. But all those pictures were getting flagged on like the Facebook groups and taken down by Skidoo. So that also kind of makes me think they might be real. Sure, yeah. <laughs> See? Um, it makes sense for Skidoo to just power up that 900 Ace Turbo and make it compete with the Sidewinder. People have been saying it'll happen for a while, so it'd be cool if it does, but... We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. Nineteen a, grand for a sled is steep. <laughs> not, that's probably Canadian. Yeah. It's probably some Canadian guy did it. Yeah, but yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't. I just think it's BS. Yeah. We'll have to see. The weird you know? thing, the the one weird thing I will add is a lot of these sleds have three idler wheels, like farther up in the track. So a total of four. Like if you go back and look through, they all have a ton of idler wheels on them kind of weird not the mountain sleds but yeah so yeah. even like the mxz and stuff and then the backcountry has none except for the back I, ones 
Yeah. It, you know, you, what you said about the link brackets is kind of interesting. If someone was doing this, they, they'd probably miss that, I think. Yeah. I don't know that level of detail. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe they're that clever. Maybe maybe Bobby did it from Re, from Rev Rider 550. <laughs> I don't you know. know maybe it. that's the source. Maybe yeah. that's the source. But it's easy. <laughs> come up with a bogus url and the fact that it's got www in the url makes me think it's fake yeah because you wouldn't need to put www in there so yeah, yeah i don't know and all you have to do is go to that website right now and see if any of the links above work snowmobiles accessories riding gear any of that stuff works but uh, it yeah. probably doesn't i know? tried to go to the site and it didn't pull up anything so yeah I will yeah. say I expected a, a, a bodywork up or uh, update, so I was surprised to see that it, it looks the same other than the mock release. So we'll see. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's BS. I think their big thing is going to be a 650 or a 670 this year. Hmm. Interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah, it would make I sense. Know. I could be wrong, as, as among other things, right? Like, yeah, you know. Skidoo's got to keep in the game, right? Like, and that's they got to address that because I think it's been a good hit for for Polaris that that uh, that engine. For sure, and it's the biggest seller. It's the six hundred class is the best seller. So, you know, as far as the trail segment goes, that's for sure. Yeah. But uh, who we got up next? Team Osmosis. Mm -hmm. He says, hey, guys, bought my first sled a few months ago, a 2013 Players 800 Rush Pro R. Been great riding in this beautiful area, finding new places I would never have seen. Just started watching you guys a little over a month ago, and I must say I look forward to it every week. Here are a few photos from the past two weekends, ice fishing in Halls Lake and found this ice waterfall cave on Clear Lake. Keep up the great work. Make sure you include my buddy ski -Doo so everyone can enjoy the pictures. Tom, there we go. Yeah, so he said, "Don't don't leave out the ski doo. He knows we won't. Here, we're just we'll just we'll fix this, okay, guys? We'll we'll fix this up if I can zoom in here. Oh, I can't. It's already at max. We'll just get rid of all the players. So there we go. There that's perfect. Look, that's look that's that nice Gary's kind of picture. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. And my buddy had that exact pro R. That's a beast, man. Yeah, you got to know how to ride it too, because it's meant for uh, it's meant for the big hits." nice yeah like a lot of guys would not like the ride on that because it's so aggressive hmm. but he i never it. got a chance to ride yeah. one of those yeah he could ride the nuts off of it i bet yeah everybody it's really stiff like it's a motocross sled for sure hmm. yeah i was on my buddy's, and then this is uh, 600 uh switchback with that same more or less same suspension setup and it, it feels like a four-wheeler i liked it nice yeah yeah yeah, and the R is like they had the Pro S, which was like the your trail, and and then the Pro R was like the, I guess it's almost a race sled, but it's really aggressive. He he still has it too. He loves it. He's also got an eight fifty as well. But I love that shot. Eh? You got the Eskimo ice fishing tent there, nice frozen lake, and probably a few bevies being popped in the inside that tent too. <laughs> oh yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That's wicked. And then there it is, the sun going down. I remember those days. I I haven't gone ice fishing in a while, but I've got a little portable hut that I take out. But since I got back in the snowmobile, and I'd rather be riding than, than sitting on the ice. Yeah, yeah. same. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah. So the the one time we we stayed at a at a cabin and, and it was it was right on the shore and the ice hut you could you could throw a baseball and hit it. It was that close. So you could walk out, stagger out, drink your face off and stagger back. And <laughs> this guy one hut over had a, it, and it was a new skidoo at the time, but it wasn't like a gen four. It was like, it was probably like an XS or, you know, it was probably an XS or the last model of the XP, but it was brand spanking new and the guy couldn't get it running. So they're all farting around and you could see the flashlights going and, I stagger over there and I noticed the tether cord was off <laughs> and I, and he's standing there with it attached to his coat. And I said, he goes, I can't. And they're all trying to get the hood up and everything. And, and I said, if I get it going, can I take it for a spin? It was an 800 <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can, you can do whatever you want. 
So I just take his jacket and unclip the tether strap and put it in and and I go down the lake. I should not have been running it. I'll tell you that much. But yeah, what a blast. Yeah. What a blast. So I brought I just went down the lake and back and brought it back and knew knew I knew I had to turn it in, turn the key back to him. But yeah. <laughs> So, That's kind of how the, the first figured. time I rode a sled actually kind of went that way. Somebody came to one of my buddy's ice shacks and left his sled running out front. So I jumped on it and took it for a rip. <laughs> <laughs> the best ones are stolen. Just yeah. ask Corey, man. <laughs> yeah. Jump on his 850 and take it for a rip. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, this is Dominator 286. Swanky's buddy. He says, Gary, hey. we only took a couple of picks. This was Zenda Tap in Zenda, Wisconsin, near the Illinois Wisconsin border. Their tagline is "Where the hell is Zenda?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, can't it's a small. It. No, it's a small town in the middle of nowhere. Pictured as my 2017 Renegade 850 and my buddy's 2020 Polaris XC 800. The nice. trails were smooth, fast, and off awesome. Lots of farm fields, very few trees, and temps were around minus five Fahrenheit. So that's a nice day, actually. Nice and cold for a two-stroke, that's for sure. So that's minus <laughs> minus five Fahrenheit. So that's really cold, actually, because 32 zero, right? Yep. Yep. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's pretty chilly. Yeah. So that's nice. That's all. Yeah. But thanks again, Dominator, for getting swanky on the old live stream podcast. We appreciate yeah. that. This is cool. Absolutely. Yeah, and I like that. Nice little renegade. That's like the uh, the, the in-season order one. I love that. Good color scheme, too. And Mark Bo uh -oh. sent me this. This is from yeah, this is from yesterday, right? But he didn't he didn't say anything. He just said he's got the video released uh, today, so it's on his channel. Go go to Mark Bo, check it out, hit subscribe, hit the hit the like button. But uh, this is uh, this is his experience. I don't know what this guy's going, but I've actually, you know. You know what I do? I ad lib to this stuff, right? I made it better. <laughs> doesn't that guy look like he fits right in? Mm, Hopefully yeah, he doesn't ever pull me over. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And then uh, and then we got uh yours truly uh here, Swanky Cat. You got some <laughs> pictures from him sent in here. So tell us what we're looking at here, buddy. So, uh, so that is the the sled shack. It's uh, I'm pretty sure it was actually a, a homemade trailer that I purchased and then built an ice shack on top of it that the uh, the back would fold down on, and then I would uh, use it for ice fishing and use it for hauling sleds. And then uh, one year I, I parked it down in the uh, low part of the yard. <laughs> And uh, one morning, I uh, woke up and looked out the window, and all of a sudden, we had uh, like five feet of water down there. Jeez. Yeah. I remember those videos, man. I felt bad for you. Water's the worst. <laughs> yeah. Because you had a little battery pack thing that powered it, and it was yep. quite the quite the shack, right? And it's like everything was floating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty nasty. Oh yeah, here's a picture of it in the in its glory there. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. yep so do you still have that or was it pretty much junk after that uh it actually sat there for a long time uh so when we moved into the house there was like maybe a foot of water down there um it, it, not even and we thought it was something to do with just the excessive rain that we had, had that year uh then for the next couple of years it was dry i parked it down there and then uh, like i said overnight that that filled up uh i thought the water would go back down so i left it in there for like six or eight months <laughs> And then by the by the next winter, I decided it wasn't gonna drop enough that I could just pull my truck in there. So I I ended up winching it out, and uh, or you, I think I used to come along actually. Um, and uh, yeah, then I just sold it cheap, so it's gone. <laughs> yeah, good. good. I, yeah. I was kind of done with it already by the time that even by the time that happened, that's why I was parked down there. So. Oh that yeah, yeah. So how many how many acres do you live on? Uh, just under three. Uh, when we when we were looking for a new house, I told my wife no less than ten, and then we found this house, and she liked the house. So now we live here. <laughs> that, nice, nice. I, I like it. Too. Yeah, I like. I like. Yeah. No, that's great. That's great. Here, let's see the next one here. I love this picture, man. This this sums <laughs> it all up. 
Yep. <laughs> like, how did you get that? How, how did you catch that shot? Uh, I think this was actually, this is probably a, a few cell phones ago, but this was a, a cell phone on a tripod stuck into the snow. I was just taking nice. a video while I was riding around. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's was, awesome. Lear, learning yeah. to car was my first experience in deep snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doing good though, man, especially on that sled, right? So it, it actually yeah. did really pretty well. I, I think any more snow and it wouldn't have been good, but for the amount of snow that was out there, it didn't do too bad for a 121. Yeah. And it's a 500, right? Is 600. that what that was? A 600? That was a 600 right on. That's a good shot. You can see your technique there. Dan Adams yeah. from Next Level Riding Clinics, he'd be proud of you, buddy. Oh, yeah? He would be proud. Yeah, you got that leg out there. Your body looks like it's in the right position there. He'll he'll fill you in on the details. We'll get to that next time. He's <laughs> All right. <laughs> he, he wouldn't like this shot, though. <laughs> so this, this looks yeah, this like you good. might have That's some. 500. What's that? Yeah, you might have some front-end problems on this one <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> the rattle the small rattle yep what happened here so this is uh it's from a, a video where i was actually trying to copy uh jeremy rides he did a, a logging video so i decided i would too and before i did this is just on my on my little three acres here and that's the big hill that we've got and i was kind of trying to side hill up it and i think if i remember right i made it up once and then I don't know what I did this time, but I, I think kind of in the in the right uh, or towards the bottom right of the picture, you can see maybe a rock sticking out. I think I clipped that with a ski and it just went right over. And it, it looks like it's up against that tree, but it's actually not. And that's that's the oh, 500 that's maybe that you're thinking of. That's the, the F5 that I had for a while. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Right on. Firecat. Right on. Perfect. Perfect. We got Mrs. Swanky here. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> yeah, and there's the F5 in the back. That's a nice yep. looking sled, man. Yeah. Yeah, I actually traded a 2006 Yamaha Raptor 350 for that. Mm, nice. Oh, good good deal, man. Yeah. And I see you had your you had your boots off here. You you got the you've got the pink handles on them. These are swanky uh, boots. Are hers. There. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've got the same pair. Mine aren't pink though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure they are. <laughs> you know, you know, you can always go and get uh, get some new clothing at to be. They've there restocked. This is this was the issue um, with what had happened is the the Novo Mono suit they sold entirely out of it, and people were bugging the dealers. So it was a Novo and Tiro Mono suits. It was over the holidays, at the end of holidays, they're sold out, and they've been able to restock some of the colors and sizes. So they're stoked to share it with us. And you can shop again at tobyouterwear.com. So go to tobyouterwear.com, but also make sure that you uh, you you hit that link that I post. I'll post it again in a minute. And uh, fill out the ballot, and you can win your own Novo Mono suit on Wednesday live at noon. So I'll put that link up again shortly, and away we go. But yeah, what were you doing here there, uh, Swanky? So this was Valentine's Day, I think maybe two years ago, it must have been. Uh, my wife picked up sushi, and we put her in a backpack and rode to a lake on the sleds and had a picnic. <laughs> nice. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, we're kind of hoping to do it again this year. We'll see. We'll have to get somebody to watch the little guy while we do it. But Heck yeah. You do that a lot, like fireside, uh, fireside barbecues or anything like that, or is that? Uh, uh, no, you know? not not nearly as much as we'd like to. No, I, I we have fires uh, once in a while. We've got a couple different ones, uh, fire pits out, kind of on my my little three acres here, and we don't we don't use them hardly uh, as much as we should. But uh, once in a while, we'll get out and do stuff like this. Yeah, for sure. I love that. I want to do more of that. Muskoka Mike uh, took Drew and I out and. We had a fireside barbecue last week, and uh, it was awesome. Never done anything like that. And... Uh oh, we lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we actually had a uh, a fireside uh, meal at I do not remember the restaurant name. It'll be in I think this weekend's video when we were up in the UP. 
Uh, they're not, they don't have any dine in. Uh, they just got fires kind of outside around the building uh, by picnic tables. So that was actually kind of sweet. It was uh, a little bit, a little bit chilly. So you had to eat your food quick before it got cold, but that was, that was still kind of cool to be sitting out there by a fire. It was kind of neat. For sure. So do they, do you cook your own food or were they bringing it out to you? Uh, nope. They brought it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. You order inside and then they, they bring that and your, your drinks out and stuff. So cool. Were neat. there a lot of fires or just like a uh, bunch of people around had, one? I think they had three, one, three that we saw. Uh, I don't know if there was another one on the other side of the building or not, but yeah, they just had a, had a couple going around the nice. perimeter. Yeah. That's solid. At least they're making the best of it somehow, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hey guys. Where'd you guys Hello. go? Hey, why do you keep why do you keep kicking me out? I took a quick break, <laughs> you know. Yeah, Michigan Outlaw says it looks like Gary forgot to take some of the money out of his beer fund to pay for his internet again. Yeah. <laughs> Odious slide guy says he did a trailside fire and cooked up some hot dogs. Nice. Yeah, and uh, go big, go big. Part says we just pick out a spot in the woods and light a fire after we ride for a few hours. I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So I've got, like I was saying, I've got something cooking in a couple of weeks. So just stay tuned. We're going to, we're going to have some good times based on that. So, yeah, you know, that, you know, I've always got some up my sleeve for that. <laughs> this is one of my favorite segments you've done, man, is when you, it was a short video, but you went through the McDonald's drive through. Yep. Yeah. I've actually been thinking I should do that again. That's kind of nice. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a very Canadian thing to do. Go through Tim Hortons. <laughs> Somebody's already done it though, so I, I can't steal the idea. <laughs> my my favorite pick is my th this one here. You can hear the the carbides going. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I got a lot of comments turn, about, turn. about wrecking the carbides. Yeah. yeah, but it was worth it. Yeah, it didn't you, you uh, don't. It didn't quite turn where <laughs> where I wanted it to here, but I made it to the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all for sure. I, the bet the next picture is the best picture. Yep. You got to look at the like number one fan right there. Yeah. So did you, did you, did you know anybody that worked in there or did, does anybody say anything about that at all? Like, is that a. No, uh, no, I was, I was kind of hoping I might end up on the news, but it didn't, didn't go that way. But no, I, I don't know anybody, uh, anybody in there. There was a guy behind me, I think in a truck that was probably taking pictures or filming too, but yeah, no, nothing ever came of it. And I don't know anybody there. Yeah. Jesse, Jesse Bucken from uh, from the Sled Addicts, and also too, congratulations! Sled Addicts hit one thousand subscribers this week, one thousand and one to be exact, the other night, and it was awesome. They're probably at like two thousand now, this is a couple of days later. Probably. But the uh, no, congratulations, Jesse and Mike, you guys are rocking it, man! Keep up the good work, dude. Yeah. That's great. I think it, I honestly said that last week. I think it helps out the whole. Well. Well, I'm sure what he was going to say, it helps out the whole oh. slide community to have everybody making videos and getting recommended and all that. So, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it works out good. It's been a good year for snowmobile YouTubers, man. A lot of people jumped in and they're having great growth. So that's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see when I, uh, when I first started doing this, I maybe just didn't quite search for the right thing, but I, I really didn't find anybody else that was doing much. I mean, obviously there's you know, how to videos and just, you know, short stuff for just people, you know, driving around, not, not really saying anything, you know, without an internal mic or anything. And yeah, it seems like, uh, since I've started, uh, not that I'm taking credit for any of it, but it seems like since then, uh, it's kind of blown up. So that's cool. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. I mean, I remember back when I first started seeing your videos, like you, Jeremy rides, there weren't a ton of people doing it on sleds. It was a lot of bikes, but not a right. lot of sleds. Yeah. Hey there, Gary. Hey, hey. I'm back. This is horrible, huh? Yeah, you, you nailed it. I did hear what you were saying, Bobby, and you nailed it right yeah. on the money. That's what I was saying. It does. It helps because it's, there's, if there's only a couple of us doing it, YouTube doesn't think it's an important topic, and uh, and now there's more of us doing it. It's just going to keep feeding the whole process. So. Yeah, you got to find a way around the algorithm for sure. Yeah. The whole process and, otherwise. And the other thing is it's good content too. Like you can, you can knock somebody if it's crap, but because it's good content, you – the uh, you can't knock anybody for putting it out there, right? So, sure. and, he, and he says four days of Quebec riding coming up with hashtag rich indoors, lots of vids coming after. So there you go. And Odie the sled and car guy says his sled channel his channel isn't gaining any traction. Well, put some studs in her and let her rip. <laughs> and uh, 
and try yeah bobby you're doing a good job of improvising you are you're you're my you're my rich tonight man thank you so much it. yeah i'm doing the yeah. best i can try to keep the topics going you know <laughs> yeah and bruce stewart i don't get what this is we can't handle two gary's <laughs> <laughs> oh you're yeah i must you have been not jump off and back on your sometimes it shows you twice <laughs> oh okay there you go yeah two is better than one you know <laughs> yeah, right ladies all the ladies watching you know <laughs> these are great pictures man like you you have actually some good thumbnails and good uh good shots that you actually post on your social thank you Swanky, yeah. like are you yeah, are you a photographer or is it just luck like what, what is your background on that um yeah um I, I guess even before youtube i mean i uh i don't want to say i had an eye for things but i like to take pictures and i mean i, I never did anything with it but um yeah i mean i i i like to think that i'm better than like my brother and my dad i guess that's really all i all i ever see on on facebook is their pictures so i i try to do better than them <laughs> they're both fairly artistic that's what the the paintings are in the background here so i i try to try oh, to nice. it a little bit but uh yeah no i i uh i've kind of just trying to put in uh more effort into the thumbnails lately and i guess that's probably something you guys could agree with i think that's probably one of the between that titles are are, are probably the the biggest way to get viewership to your videos obviously you have to have you know content to, to back that up but i think that's that's definitely important that's something that i've seen over the past couple of years is having a good thumbnail i think is is very important you mean 100%. not a blurry Arctic cat in your thumbnail? Like, <laughs> watching the show? I, think, I think that's no. my fault. I, I I can never actually open my emails. I, I see him come in and read the, the line and think I'll get back to that later. And then and it turns out there's important stuff after that. So, yeah. so that, that's my bad. And, and, then he sent, and then he sent me that shot. Uh, a good one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it's a good outlaw. Yeah. But the, um, yeah, so that's a, that's a great shot too. Looks like you got some snurt there. Yeah, there was a lot of that. This was uh, before we got the the big dump. Uh, what is it? Last week, um, this was up in uh, Vilas County, up on the the kind of the northern end of Wisconsin. Nice. Yeah, Dominator two eighty six. He said that you're you're the guy for the the Upper Peninsula, right? <laughs> like you do a lot of riding, and you know. Yep. Yeah, so we've uh, you're. Rep represent for up here yeah we, we've done uh yeah. three rides up there now i think so far uh last year uh the beginning of the year that was the first ride we did was up in the up and that was the first time i had ever been there on a sled uh, and then we went back at the end of the year last year after our season was closed down in central wisconsin uh, and then we went for the second ride uh this year we were up there again so very cool well, that's good yeah. gotta go where the snow but is this year though it was down south seems like uh they got they got more than we did even still in southern Wisconsin. and that's what's happening here too it's flip-flopped right but yeah. bobby you're getting good snow where you are this year are you not we're doing good but the real heavy like dumps of snow are hitting south we're just getting some really consistent lake effect so we have like a 14 inch base now but um all the really heavy like foot overnight snow seems to be hitting down south yeah and wow tug tug hill seems to be having lots of lots of fun with the snow yeah, they just well. had a non-stop lake effect. It's been crazy. At one point, I think it was like 10 days straight of just solid snow. So, Wow. After the slow start, yeah. it's good to see it all come back together, you know? Yeah. Well, I think I called it. Like they, I, I didn't call it, but I, I reported it that they said that it was going to start end of January, and it did. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. the, uh, it's nice to see, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, better late than never. <laughs> I think oh. you might lose me again. Okay. Am I still here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. Oh, okay. I could hear I could hear myself echoing back. So hmm. and uh, the four wheelers. Was Mrs. Twank out with you or is this a buddy and you out? No. Nope. So this is me and my brother. Uh he actually moved to Arizona this Wednesday, I think. So before he left, we went out and uh and did a ride. And since we didn't have any snow yet then uh we uh decided to take the quads out i had just barely got the the 87 quad runner 250 going so we went out for a rip uh kind of in a, a secret spot that i know uh up north that's kind of open year round to uh to kind of whatever you want uh truck sleds and four wheelers so that's cool so in the summer are your trails for sleds 
four quads or uh in my immediate area no uh we actually only have one little tiny atv park uh i shouldn't say that we actually do have we have another one that's uh just a little bit east of here that's privately owned but most of what we run on on sled trails um in my immediate area is just private land uh this area up here there are sled trails that run on it um but in the in the summertime it's basically just county land that's uh that's they don't have any gates open or they don't have any gates um and anything that's uh that's ungated is kind of just open to to whatever you want so just oh, kind of wow. got to know where to look yeah gary's back yeah i'm back <laughs> i don't know how long i'll uh i don't know how long that'll last but we'll we'll see what happens right yeah so okay i don't know what's going on it's just been it's crazy it shouldn't be fading out this bad you know what I mean? I hear you. And there's another great picture. Yep. So this was this Saturday, uh, probably like a half hour, 45 minutes after the trails open. And I think I was the first, first sled on that trail by the looks of it. So that was cool. And, uh, trails are nice and hard. It was, I think it was negative three when I left the garage. So everything was, uh, Nice and packed down and hard and freshly groomed. So it's hmm. a good morning. Now, when you say just after the trails opened, like for the season or for the day? Uh, for the season. Um, okay. So, yeah, anything that I had put out, uh, I guess I did do a trail report that day that's already out, but anything previous was all either UP or uh, Vilas County, which is way up north. Um, so they, they had been open for uh, maybe not quite a month, eh, probably about a month now. But yeah, our, our trails in Marathon County just opened this past Saturday at 8 a.m. So I made sure and got out there before everybody else did. <laughs> nice. Now, is that like late for you guys or pretty typical? Um, it really depends on the year. We're pretty spotty here. Um, the last probably three years, I would say we're probably riding for at least three or four weeks uh, by now. Uh, mm. But that was kind of good years where this is kind of a not good year. So yeah, not terrible. but Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's been, a, I, I just am blown away by the snow we're getting this year. I think it's great. I don't know whether you're familiar, but we've had some major issues with, with COVID lockdowns and shutdowns and it ends this week. So everybody's on pins and needles with what's going to happen. Like, like there's a big district uh, up North Perry sound and, and basically North Bay health unit. Were, were closed down so they said no snowmobiling in that area so that's why trails are so congested like if you watch my video i launched today um i was just done with it that was a weekend ride and it was so bloody busy it was like i quit i can't yeah. do this anymore i can't put up with this many people on yeah. the trail park yeah, stop so and they're parked everywhere like i had to go through and and weed between them and it's like oh my goodness but then we went up north and had a great ride the weekend after and then even last weekend it wasn't that busy so we ended up doing really good with it that's for sure so but um yeah it's uh it's pretty cool when you when you get into that so bruce stewart said it feels like the good old days yeah you can't say tug hill and not play the sound bite i don't have the sound bite raymond 007 <laughs> It's gone. Ah, oh, shucks. Look at this behind me. What's this green stuff? I'm supposed to be sitting <laughs> at Energy Power Sports doing my You're just supporting the Arctic Cats, you know? The this is, yeah. Maybe that's the thing. It's too much Arctic Cat content on the channel. <laughs> Maybe that's the thing. My, my, my YouTube's allergic to it, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, that's uh, that's cool. I'm going to show some other stuff here. I just got to queue up the stuff from, uh, from to B. So I, again, I don't know where I've been cutting out or if you guys have been getting it or not, but, uh, here, I just got to go up here and see if, uh, if it's actually been posting, but, but make sure you go on because, uh, to be outerwear is given away. We're going to do a draw Wednesday live for, uh, for 100% waterproof, 100% windproof, 2B Novo 3. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle of his spiel. 
What is he gone? That's kind of a good point, though. So, what kind of riding gear do you run with? Do you kind of like use your quad gear or? Uh, so I've got a uh, a pair of Carhartt bibs, and then I've got my uh, grandpa's. Uh, I think I think I said uh, duck hunting coat earlier, but it's actually I think it was his goose hunting coat. That's why it's such a, a cold weather coat. But uh, yeah, that, it, it keeps me warm, and it's uh, maybe a little bit goofy looking, but it was that that was free, and I don't know. It's kind of cool that it was it was his coat. So yeah. I, I just haven't quite got around to buying anything that's actually snowmobile specific yet. And we might get there someday. I think uh, I've been kind of looking at the, the bright colored uh, mono suits. So maybe, maybe someday we'll see. There you go. Yeah. I mean, if the gear gets the job done, you know, it's hard to shell the money out for no reason, you know? Right. Yeah. For- yeah. Maybe you could hop on to Toby to be everywhere.com. I should. Slash pages slash snowmobile hyphen sessions. Fill out that form and maybe you can win one. What do you think? Are you going to do that, Swanky? Am I eligible for that? Can I, I do that? Know. Why wouldn't you be? Bobby and I aren't, but you, you're, <laughs> you're, you're just a guess. Maybe I will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brad Ike says that the good snow from northern Illinois all the way up to the upper peninsula equals trails less crowded. So, but I don't know whether it came out earlier, but, uh, but here it is like, to be as restocked, we watched as 2B sold out of their Novo, Vivid, and Tiro mono suits by the end of the holidays, but they've been able to restock some of the colors and sizes. We're stoked to share. You can shop again at 2BOutterwear.com. That's the link that's up on the screen there right now. And if your feet or your backside got wet and you're freezing this past weekend, don't go through that again. Pack all your gear, maybe drive for hours, and then you have to come home early because your suit and helmets or boots failed. Don't do that again either. You know, I just mentioned helmets. Their Terminator helmet is the lightest snowmobile helmet available, and they have their stripe colorways available again. Go now to 2 beoutwearcom And also do the slash pages slash snowmobile hyphen sessions and win that out mono suit Wednesday at noon live. Heck yeah. I don't know. Are you around Wednesday at noon, Bobby? We'll make it work. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I, maybe Rich will be home too. And, uh, and, uh, the, uh, no, to be is to be for Stuart. Trust me. I thought it was Toby as well, but it's to be anyway. The, uh, um, I think we'll steal the idea from, uh, from tech fest and we'll shake up the ballots on, on old Roscoe in my backyard. Nice. That'll be sweet. Yeah, yeah that'll yeah. be cool. That'll yeah, be cool. Absolutely. That'll be fun. Maybe jump the fire pit. Maybe I'll get a big fire going and launch over it. I've only got a back reborn. I, yeah, I don't have three <laughs> acres though, so I can't do it like the way Swanky would do it. Yeah. <laughs> but make sure you get on there so we have some ballots to draw from. Yeah, you for know? sure. Yeah. Can you imagine if if Odie wins it? On the on the old formula DLX, he'll Heck he'll be yeah. like rocking in a model suit. That'll get some traction on his channel for sure. A couple of gear reviews, never heard anybody. Yeah, and uh, no, and our O two rap sponsored rider there, Corey Brock, he'd look rocking in one as well. You'd have to pull a, he'd have to pull it out of his cold dead ski doo hands though, you know. <laughs> so, Odie says, laugh my ass off. Hey, Gary, were you riding up near Wellesley, Ontario Friday evening? I thought I may have seen you. No, it wasn't me. No. So if you, guys ever do, yeah, if you guys ever do see us out on the trail, make sure you wave and flag me down and stop us. And I love chatting with you guys. So, but uh, I ran in. Are you guys still there? You can still hear me? Yep. yep. I, uh, I was at uh, Backyard Rec when I was picking up uh, the 50 edition, and I I went there. I rode it back because he's right around the corner from me, and I rode it back. And when I was putting in the trailer, I noticed Roscoe, his skid plate was hanging down, the plastic guard that's underneath the belly pan. So I messaged him right away because he had the lift and everything. He just pulled the 50 edition off of, and the rivet gun was out and everything. So I said, can you just pop a couple rivets up underneath old Roscoe's belly. He said, yeah, bring it over. So I'm bringing it over. I'm driving in. I had the console off because I had the whole dash pod off for doing something else. And the speedo was just kind of flopping on a wire and I pull it in. The hood has to 
in order on the XP for the hood to stay on, you need the bezel, the console on. So the hood is just hanging on by one pin. So it looked like I was in a wreck. So I pull in, there's these two guys unloading and the, uh, I go in, I pull in the shop for you. Oh no. Mid story and everything. <laughs> That's no good. Uh, do you ever have any good sled wrecks? Uh, not personally. Uh, I was out with uh, a buddy of mine. Uh, I don't know, it was the first year or the second year that I was riding, but he had uh, like a 95 or something like that, Arctic Cat 580, that uh, I, I was just kind of at the point where I was getting halfway decent on a sled and I was trying to get away from him. And he was trying to keep up with me. And uh, he, he didn't make it around one of the corners and rolled it good and uh, broke off his throttle side uh, bar handlebar. And uh, I don't know. I don't remember what exactly happened. He couldn't get it running after that. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but we had to ride two up and I dropped him off at a bar and then uh, rode back by myself. So <laughs> there you go. At least it hey, wasn't I'm you, though. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey. Hey. So anyway, I pull in the driveway. There's these two guys unloading. I go in and they shut the door and blah, blah, blah. And Furry's out there talking to these guys that are dropping their sled off. And then all I hear is, Porter, get your ass out here. So I go walking the door and these guys go my brats i watch you all, all the time blah 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 blah, blah and your snowmobile sessions and dee, 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 and i need some stickers and it was awesome i'm like i didn't know what to say you know i was just talking to furry about power of social media and youtube and and he's going i don't get it i don't understand it and here's these two guys that just and they're from caledon which is like an hour away and they brought their sled there because i i showed him out all the time so it's like, oh my God. <laughs> so he got to see the power of YouTube and social media. Um, Thank you. For sure. So Jesse James 322, man. Get on there to be outerwear.com. Fill out that ballot, buddy. All you guys, same as Slowby. He's a, he's a winner. He can get her done. Yeah. Sled Squad seen Bobby sled at Dakers on Saturday. Bobby's not around. Did he go reset his router too? I'm not sure he said he'd be right back. Yeah. We got low budget here, Swanky. <laughs> low budget. <laughs> way to do it. Yeah. Anything can happen that. live and it always does on this show. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's what makes it exciting. Yeah. Zach Idol said he's had the 2B Vivid Mono 2 the past three seasons and he loves it. Just enter to win. I could use a second one. He just did it. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's great. Like I was so blown away that, sh that they wanted to give away our fans. They love the show and they wanted to give our fans uh, something like this and, and announce that they're back in stock. Cause I guess people have been bugging them. You know, they can't get out of the dealer. When are you getting it back in stock? Blah, blah, blah. And, and they just, she said, I'm so excited about uh, having these suits back in stock and all of our gear really back in stock that we got to get it out there and snowmobile sessions is the way to do it. Yeah, that's awesome. That's super cool. Yeah. Bobby, were you at Dakers on Saturday? I was not, actually. I was. I read that. I was wondering. Uh, it must have been a different white and red sled. I don't know. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was actually on Tug Hill on Saturday. So. Oh, seriously? See, I, I need the sound effect. I What's know. That would have been your chance. I got to get a long, a really long Ethernet cable. I, so next week when we're off, I'm going to rig this room up like you wouldn't believe. I can't. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this to my fans. I can't do this to 2 outerwear.com. <laughs> Get on there. Ironically, so. I was actually at the snowcross race, like I was saying, and Jesse was there, and uh, I guess I just missed him. I don't know. He must have been somewhere else oh. in the crowd than where I was, yeah. But small world. You probably couldn't see him because of all the fans around him. Yeah, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It was, probably wasn't him. It was Nash. Nash yeah. is probably in a cage. See, there you go, Swanky. See, he's got Nash, and he probably stole that idea from your cat. <laughs> you you got to get your cat back. Yeah. When's Swanky going to bring back the big hair? I'm working on it. Yeah, it looks like it too, eh? You went yeah, really yeah, short there for a while, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, if you guys don't watch uh, 
in the in the summertime at all i uh i got hit by a, a car a little bit while i was on my motorcycle and uh, broke through bones of my foot and it was really hard to wash all that hair standing on one foot so i had to come off <laughs> oh no <laughs> so working on it though it's coming back yeah jesse james says ha ha he's laughing with a smiley face <laughs> jesse buckman says sounds like me uh, see i thought i was gonna put in there it wasn't jesse james it was jesse buckman now he's got the o2 wraps he's gonna be the one with the crowd around him of ladies at the snow cross race <laughs> right jesse slut addicts jesse where's mike tonight jesse he's probably out riding I can't, I believe I passed Rev Rider 550 and his dad and two others heading east on 10 mile crossing. Man, it's easy to recognize that wrap. Great conditions everywhere. He nailed it. That is where I was riding. So, yep. <laughs> so he wins the Rev Rider t shirt. There you yes, go, Cat Man, dude. <laughs> Just send your information to Swanky Cat at swankycat.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesse says he just got a Hero 9, so he's busy setting that up. Oh, Ooh. hopefully there's no regrets on that one. <laughs> so, hey, Jesse, Let have you filled out the ballot yet at to tobeouterwear.com slash pages slash snowmobile dash sessions? The promise of a prize, but no real prizes. No, there's real prizes, man. Darn it, I didn't know there was a contest to win T-shirts. There's no T-shirt on that one. That isn't a contest. But you got to go to 2 beoutawarecom <laughs> Every time you spot us, you get a t-shirt. People are going to start making it up. <laughs> yeah, and he's gone. Yep. So what do you film with? Just GoPros? Do you have like a handheld camera? No, uh, I've got – I just bought uh, a Zenfone something or other. Uh, it supposedly has like a 24 megapixel something or other, uh, just like still shot camera. Um, and the – the camera on that isn't too bad. I've kind of tried to start using that a little bit. Um, otherwise, I've just been using. Actually, I've, it's probably in the garage. That's probably not good. It's cold out there. I'll have to find <laughs> that camera later. But I've got a a, a Canon. Uh, it's like kind of like a couple steps under uh, a DSLR. Um, it's got like a flip flip up screen, and it's uh, like forty times zoom. And that's what I do all the uh, like the install videos and stuff. Uh, anything that that I'm not uh, actually mic'd up with a, a helmet on, I pretty much use that. There you go. Yeah, it's always good to have a handheld camera like that. You you don't realize the the quality difference you can get as long as it's oh, like sure. a decent camera, you know. Right. Back again. I know. Daredog's <laughs> got it right. Can we start a GoFundMe for better internet for mud rats? I'll donate. Yeah, go yeah. over to my channel and then hit the super chat button. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about. What it's all about. Yeah, so no, I don't know what's going on. It's I've I've had spotless internet for now, but I I swear my son's eating up all the bandwidth, you know. But, Most likely, uh, it doesn't take much. Know, for all I've done for him for the last couple of weeks, you think he <laughs> gave me one night of good internet? <laughs> you know, one night. That's all I ask. Tell your son to get off the hub. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's what Odie, the sledding car guy, says. Where's Rich tonight? He's riding. He's in the chat, Snowstorm. You should get Elon Musk satellite connection desk. They said it works very well if you're in a rural area. I can't think of the name, Mud Brats. Yeah, Starlink. Yeah. yeah. I put in for Starlink up north. I, I don't, not, not that I'll probably be able to get it, but the uh, it's it's in some areas of the north right now, and they say that when it arri arrives, they'll, they'll hit me up. But yeah, Elon Musk is changing the face of it is. Yeah, so what else? There's another red and white wrap sled rolling around. That's what Rev Rider says. Somebody bought, went to Octane Inc. and said, that wrap, I want the exact one so I can be just like Bobby. Right. You know they did. Stealing my thunder. Yeah, you know they did. Yeah. <laughs> so, Swanky, do you have like a, a dream sled that's catching your eye or just enjoying your own sled too much to care? Uh, no, I, I'm I'm really pretty, pretty well set on getting the – uh, the turboed version of mine, actually, the so it's the the Suzuki 1056, I think it is, uh, but it's turboed, so that's either the the 9000 or if you're looking at like the 13, 12, 13, maybe 14, it would be the uh, F1100 turbo. 
Nice. nice. So, yeah, I'd like to try that out. Um, I mean, I, I'm I don't have anything against two stroke. I think uh, I, I was actually looking at a uh, and I want an uh, an XF, actually not a not a F. Um, so that's the the slightly longer track. Um, yeah. But I was looking at a an XF eight thousand earlier uh, this year that sold on I me. Mean, that was a, a good deal that I didn't jump on fast enough. And if one of those comes up, maybe I'll pick one of those up too. But uh, yeah, something something a little bit longer track and some more horsepower is what I'm after. Is that the Thundercat? The Thundercat model that year? I think that, that, that? that must be like a special package or something. I think, yeah. I've got oh, a, okay. a buddy's brother actually has one of those that I would kind of like to get on and test out. But Yeah. Sounds like uh, cats in your blood now from the sounds of it. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I do like the Pro Cross chassis. That's that's one thing I have to say. It, it definitely, uh, like I said earlier, I kind of have problems with getting it to go where I want it to, uh, which maybe is just my own laziness. But uh yeah, it, it, as far as the the comfort goes, it is it is so much better than the the players that I had before. Um, I kind of got back issues, and uh, I, I can put in a lot more miles on on the four cross than I could on my uh, my Polaris sled. So that's yeah. awesome. Dominator two eighty six is swanky. Can you tell these East Coasters about riding Wisconsin? We have it pretty good in places like Eagle River, Mino. I I don't know how to say that. Mino Minocqua, probably. I don't see where you're looking at, but probably Minocqua. I guess. Is he froze up? Oh, yeah, he's froze up. Oh, yeah, there is Monaco. Okay, I'm behind <laughs> on the chat, it looks like. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I guess I haven't ridden anywhere else other than Wisconsin, but, yeah, the the areas that, that he's got named there, uh, those are, are, I think Eagle River is the snowmobile capital of the world, I think, or something like that, they call it. Um, and, I mean, yeah, they're, in the wintertime, anyways, they're definitely set up uh, to, uh, to pretty much be a, a hub for snowmobilers, and uh, they, uh, a lot of those towns, I think, kind of make it in the uh in the winter time when the the people are out on the sleds um frequenting the uh the local uh drinking establishments and <laughs> and that sort of thing so yeah i think they uh they, they definitely cater to the to the sleds up there and it's uh it's definitely a good place to ride i mean there's a lot of um even just like an hour north of me there's a lot of public land that uh has some great trails on it and uh um kind of towards the middle of the state and kind of a little bit further south uh you do get a lot of farm fields and stuff like that but yeah up in the up in the northern part of the state and even where i'm at here uh the trails are absolutely beautiful i mean it's nice uh tight twists and turns and um some decent some decent open uh sections where you can kind of rip across farm fields but yeah it's a it's definitely a good mix of uh of trails around here and yeah i, I like it it's a good place to ride that's yeah. great hey no noble shit says sorry to criticize you for having a four stroke earlier i remember when watching your channel a few years ago swanky cat there no, you that's go. All right. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. why I bought it to be to be different. So yeah, wrong. exactly. No, it's good. Yeah, Gary looks stoned. I saw that. <laughs> Cody, <laughs> no, that's why you keep freezing up. Right? Yeah, yeah, it may be. <laughs> Maybe I should be. I don't know. It is legal here in Canada, so it's oh, not. It it, yeah, it is totally. That's why you guys got to get your butts up here next year. <laughs> yeah. We'll show you a good time. And never lift 26 as I was thinking the same thing about Gary. I I just have that look, you know. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's the way his screen froze. Yeah. Both Maine and Wisconsin have great riding. Yeah, I, I hear that. The Upper Peninsula is pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It yeah. It definitely has some some cool trails, but uh, I mean, to be completely honest, I would probably rather ride the trails around my house uh, consistently than uh, to ride up there. I mean, their their season starts a lot earlier. Uh, their trails kind of open December first, whether they have snow or not. And this year, I I don't think anybody is riding on on December first or second. But uh, I mean, it's kind of a cool thing that they just open. You know, a certain time of year it doesn't matter whether whether they have enough snow, we're here, we've got to wait for everybody's approval and everything. And I mean, it's on, it's on a lot of uh, uh, private land, like I said, so obviously you have to get those approvals, but the, the trails that we've got uh, that we've got here, I think are, are probably some of my favorite, but the UP is good too. You like just kind of like tighter tree riding. Is that what it is? Or what do you like about them? Yeah, I guess. So the, the UP trails are kind of a lot of like railroad grades and stuff. And I mean, obviously that's good to, to be able to get places, but uh yeah, I don't know. I like the the ups and downs, and yeah, the, the tighter tree riding and stuff like that. But the the UP, I think if I if I had a sled that was better suited for off trail, I think that'd probably be the place to be. It it 
I, I don't quite know what the, the rules of the laws are up there, but it kind of seems like you can kind of ride sort of wherever you want, which is yeah. a, a totally foreign concept to me. Cause I mean, here, if you're, if you're even an inch off the trail, you're, you're in trouble. So, yeah, I hear that. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's like our area as well. Right. Yeah. The upper peninsula offers all kinds of riding go big parts says so. Um, Dominator 286 has gas up in the upper peninsula, whether you need or not, you may not see anything for hours. True. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, that's where that's forced Yeah. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to, uh, to ride up there alone. That's for sure. I, I do that a lot here, which isn't the smart idea, but, uh, when, when you got to ride, you got to ride. Um, but yeah, up there you, you could be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think the Michigan outlaws were in the upper peninsula I think they were going last week, so they haven't got a video yet on it yet, or maybe they do. They'll comment now that I've screwed that up. But <laughs> yeah, so yeah, do you have a tough time good. coming up with uh, video ideas, like stuff to talk about, or are you pretty good with that? Um, I should probably work harder on trying to find stuff that's a little bit more uh, click worthy, I guess. But uh, yeah, I, I usually. Uh, it's funny that I'll get not, not so much anymore, but I used to get a lot of comments about people saying that I talk too much. And if you know, if you, if you know me in real life, uh, everybody says that I don't talk enough and I'm too quiet. So I guess I, I let it all out when I'm on the sled and on the, on the camera, but <laughs> I can always think that's of something funny. to say, whether or not it makes into a video or not, that's, that's another story, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I get like a, I'm not going to record today. And what am I going to say? And, and it's like, and, and not that you're saying anything, but, like the video I just put out today, there's nothing on this. There's nothing in these clips that anyone's going to find interesting. And, and then it's like, you put it together and you go, that's not bad. I think I'd watch that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It doesn't have to be groundbreaking to be entertaining. That's for sure. And no. that's, that's hard to, hard to keep in mind. Cause yeah, I, I went out uh, this Saturday uh, right when the trails opened. And then I went out on Sunday when it warmed up a little bit, uh, just barely above freeze or not above freezing, barely above zero Fahrenheit. Um, I went out and yeah, I just decided not to bring the cameras just cause it was too cold. And I didn't want to mess with, uh, dead batteries and everything. And yeah, then when I was out, I, I kind of decided that maybe it would have been good to have it, but, uh, it's kind of nice to ride without the camera sometimes too, but yeah, you, yeah. uh, you, you never know what, what's gonna, what's gonna happen and what you're going to want to say. So just kind of hit or miss, I guess. Yeah. Like a camera is like a condom. It's when you need it and don't, <laughs> when you, when you need it, you don't have it. And when you yep. want it, you need <laughs> <laughs> when you need one you don't got it when you got one you don't need it that's... as soon as the battery runs out something cool always happens when it comes to cameras that's yep. always how it works exactly. <laughs> exactly. well that's what happened in that video where i where i go halfway it's live saturday night because it's like totally something glitched and screwed up and i didn't have it and then i messed with it at the gas station got it going again and it's like I'm so glad I did because that's when we found that really deep stuff that Corey was blasting through. So, yeah. Michigan Outlet says we did put up a, a, a Upper Peninsula video a couple weeks ago, LOL. Yeah, see, you know what? I just don't have time for YouTube anymore, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, you know, there's, I, there's very few um, – like I, I watch a few things like you, I get on a feed, right. Where I watch like a lot of Michigan outlaws and then I watch a lot of sled addicts and I watch, I watch a lot of Red rider 550 and, you know, and a lot of swanky cat or whatever. And it's like, you know, I, I seem to watch like four or five in a row. And then to do that, I have to push everyone else aside and it's like, I'll get to you. They're there. And I should show you my actually watch later uh, library it's it's nutty like it's just it's just a boom i just go watch later watch later watch later and push everything into it so nice. yeah, i'll get to you david mckinney's in the house how's it going buddy jay fly low he says what's up david more toys more noise he likes the four stroke swanky nice yeah, yeah he says he, yeah he's done, he's got an arctic cat He's, uh, he's done some clutching and stuff. He says there's no turbo lag on his. He can tell you that. <laughs> yeah. So, and Pasty Boy, how's it going, buddy? He's in the house. Shag Boy's, I think, dropped off, though. He's He may be watching, but he's kind of keeping low now. He's come out of the closet. Yeah. He's trying to get 
<laughs> yeah, he was. Can someone please pay Gary's internet bill? Yeah. <laughs> uh, David McKinney's dream. He just wrapped up six days in Wyoming. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, Dustin Ingram. Hold it. Ka-ching. I'll just do the manual sound effects. What do you like better, your two-stroke or four-stroke, Swanky Cat? I had a chance to buy a four-stroke the other day, but passed because I didn't know much about it. So, I mean, the sled that I had uh, was a 600, um, and, I mean, it did have some miles on it. It still had fairly good compression, but uh, I, I actually did, uh, uh, right before I sold it, a, a drag race between the two. I mean, they're they're pretty much neck and neck. Uh, so it, as far as acceleration and stuff goes, I mean, they're – they're a little bit different. Obviously, the the two stroke took off a little bit faster, but the four stroke uh, kind of caught up after a while. And I mean, in my small experience that I've had between those two sleds, and I mean that's really all I've ever ever been on. Um, I, I guess personally, I like the four stroke a little bit better, um, just from kind of a reliability uh, standpoint. And not that two strokes aren't reliable. Obviously, that's something I had had. Like I said, thirteen uh, thirteen hundred miles on it by the time I sold it, and so that that was plenty reliable, but uh, yeah, I I, uh, I just worry, always worried that something was going to happen when I went out. Um, and obviously, if you buy a, a sled that has a few less miles on it, you probably would have to worry about that a little bit less. But I tried to do as little maintenance as possible, <laughs> so <laughs> that maybe would have helped too. But uh, yeah, I I would say if you're interested in a four stroke, definitely uh, give one a try. I mean, I, I think there's still some truth to the fact that they're they're heavy and not as quick as you know some of the higher power two strokes are, but they're uh, they're definitely a good option, I think. Yeah, I rode Muskoka Mike's. He, he, so he had that 1200 uh, Skidoo and it burned up a couple of years ago, like two years ago. And then this fall, we bought a, a Viper um, with the turbo kit and the MPI fuel programmer and everything on it. And I had a chance to ride it, which I'll put a video up on that. And I was, I thought it was going to be a lot heavier and, and, you know, cumbersome in the trails. And it wasn't bad at all. That Viper handled flat uh it's it was just by the time that power came on you were booking and uh, in tight t trails it's like uh, i mean you're you're gonna get yourself into a lot of trouble fast but i guess if you want that reliability the uh you know that's that's the price you pay to get that snap you know yeah and mine up like that Mine definitely doesn't feel uh, heavy when you're riding it. Obviously, if you have to you have to lift it or it gets stuck, then it's you know that that 30 pounds uh, that I've got on my buddy's uh, Crossfire 800. I mean, you can definitely feel it then. But I mean, on the trails, honestly, it feels lighter than the than the 600 players that I had. Um, I, I think some of that is suspension setup and carbides and stuff. But I mean, mine is super easy to steer compared to uh, compared to the players was, and I I could definitely uh, get through some tight tight terrain just as quick as uh, my buddy can on his uh, crossbar 800. So, yeah, but ride, you know, like that was a 200 and plus horsepower sled, but riding Corey's 850, it was way better in the bottom than that thing was like Corey's Corey's 850 is blistering fast. Like it blows your mind, but the, the, you know, it doesn't have the power numbers that the Viper had, but if I had to pick the two, I would have picked the two stroke any day. You know, but you know, that's what my thing is, is like he buys them because my Muskoka Mike wants reliability long term, but he hasn't been able to see that through yet. He the the one burn up on him and then he sold his viper already, so he's looking for another do. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. I hopefully he gets one sooner than later because I want to ride with him again this weekend. We have a hoot when we go out. So Noble shit says definitely there's a play absolutely a place for four strokes. All the motocross bikes turn to for four stroke, which is disappointing in my opinion. Actually, but their torque of a bike is crazy. Yeah, Mr. Snow Rocks. I like the torque of the four stroke. Yeah. You know the difference between torque and power is there, Bobby? I can only imagine. <laughs> power is power is how fast you hit the wall. And torque is how fast you drag the wall with you after you hit it. <laughs> I like it. It's, it's the truth. <laughs> yeah. It's the total truth. So yeah, yeah I think a lot yeah. of it just really comes down to what your what your plan uh what you're planning on riding. I mean, obviously if you're gonna do a lot of deep powder stuff and and if you just really like two strokes, I mean, you know, that's obviously the way to go. But 
for what I do most of the time, being out by myself, not wanting to ever really have to look under the hood, uh, other than oil changes. Um, it just kind of works for me, I guess. And buying, like I said earlier, kind of higher mileage stuff, obviously you're a little bit, uh, better off with a higher mileage four stroke than you are too, unless you plan on rebuilding it. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, uh, the guy that I ride with, uh, Jason is into that sort of thing, but I like to, to turn wrenches as, as uh, little as I can. So <laughs> I'd rather ride than, than turn around. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's why I only keep my sleds for like two years. Can't deal with the maintenance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, though, but you get into that thing and Corey and I were just talking about that this week is, is when you get into that, you get over that hurdle. I think that's what my buddy Dino says of getting that first new sled. And then if you trade it every two, three years, depending on how many miles you get on it, you're only paying a few grand to get into that new one. So he's like five grand, six grand to, to jump up. And really, what do you get on the used market for five, six grand today? Not a very good sled. I'll tell you that, you know? Yeah. And, and you know, it's a smart thing. You just, the, the, the hard part is getting that first one. And that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now is like, like taking that leap to get into that first good one so that you can get the cycle going, but you know, and, and then you, you got a kid that, you know, uh, smashes up stuff. So you have to pay <laughs> big bucks to fix it. And, and then, and then that eats away everything else. So, yeah. But I, thanks again to backyard recreation. Cause he, he pulled out of all the stops on that one. Yeah. It looks like yeah, so. asked if Crossfire Jason is on. Uh, he's not. I, I don't think I even told him about this, but I think he he's headed up uh, for a, a backpacking snowmobile trip. I don't know if it's this if it's this week or if it's next, but uh, he, he's going to be cold up there. It's 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 cold around here, so I, I'm glad I'm not taking that trip. That <laughs> that wouldn't be a, yeah. a fun ride, I don't think. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's been cold here for the last few days. Um, and the, the prairies and they're getting record like minus 50, minus 51 Celsius. So that's like, like, I can't even imagine we were minus 13 and it's probably felt like minus 20. So take 32 degrees off of that for you guys. And that's blizzard cold. So yeah, Jesse from sled addict says he agrees trading in every other season saves the most many de money, depending on kilometers. His sled's going to have 6,000 on it by the end of the season. So if he kept it, it would be worth nothing after next season. Yeah, you're hitting that sweet spot. Unless we have another pandemic and then anybody will pay top dollar for anything. Yeah. And, and Mark Bow sold three sleds to buy his new one. That was last year's model, which is, I don't know, it was a smart thing to do. That's how you got to do it, right? Yeah. So, yeah. He doesn't have any kids that are wrecking anything though either, right? <laughs> his daughter was his daughter was a little thumb happy on the last video I watched of his. Yeah. So yeah, but yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, don't forget, guys, to go on to 2B Outerwear and fill out that freaking ballot, man. Here's the link again. Mention and it's to be outerwear.com slash pages slash snowmobile sessions and uh and fill it out and then we'll do the draw live on Wednesday and away we go. So that's a hundred percent waterproof, a hundred percent windproof 2B Novo 3 mono suit valued at nine hundred dollars US or eleven ninety nine Canadian. Isn't that awesome? That's very that's nice. Thing. Yeah. yeah, that's that's so awesome. Nothing yeah. like some fresh we got, gear. We gotta love our uh, our our people that hop on board with this, like the five oh nines and two B outerwear and everyone else, Nar Pro and all those guys that have just jumped on board and loving every minute of it. You know. Yeah, I'll even I got my five oh nine goggles and I was wearing them this last weekend and man, these things were just amazing. They're you, those are the ones you just bought. Yeah. All oh, right on. Yeah, so they, they still match my gear because, you know, I'm a bit of a trader, still wearing the FXR gear, but they fit in my helmet super well. Um, they have their, their what's called their flows goggles, I believe, and so they have um, venting in the top, but it was perfect for, like, playing around off trail. Um, it didn't let in, like, a ton of air, but it made sure they didn't fog up. Um, I kept the nose piece on. That helped, like, block the wind and everything. And 
just an awesome set of goggles. So, I mean, I know that's what 519 started with, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm just super impressed with them. So it's been awesome to talk with David and get to know him and try out his products. So I'm literally alone on the podcast, but uh, that happens. I saw somebody asking earlier if I would try a backcountry and um, if this could do updates to backcountry, I'd be super interested to try it. I'd like to see kind of some variation of the uh, R motion X kind of worked into the C motion. And then I would try that out. But uh, yeah, we'll see if that comes along. Look at everyone's back. Yeah, Bob. <laughs> Odie says, Bobby, you're flying solo. You're yeah. doing so no, good tonight, yeah. Bobby. Like that. Hey, there we go. We got a kitty there. Yeah. there. Jacob from the Outlaws will be happy to see that. <laughs> but Bobby, you're doing amazing tonight, man. Like this is great. I, I bet your Rich is laughing his butt off right now. Right. He's, he's going, now you see how hard of a job he has every week. <laughs> you know? What well, a week for him to not be on. <laughs> exactly. Well, he loves swanky. So that's a thing. It's uh, oh, that's a bummer. He, he will be, oh yeah, for sure. He will just be reeling. I, I guarantee it. He'll tell you next week. Yeah. He'll tell you. We'll have to get Swanky on again just to just to be here with Rich. Yeah, for sure. Anytime. Yeah. So, but uh, we'll get you on closer to spring and we can talk bikes. All right. Okay. How's Sounds that? Good. Yeah. But, uh, Oh, yeah. So, Mark Bo, I'm still waiting on the bumper he won from Gracie. There's some glitch with the Gracie gear stuff, and we had an issue with Trailmaker 774 and the NAR Pro. And, and uh, so I've reached out to these guys direct, and hopefully, because she's been riding. So I think that's a problem is we she hit the show, and everything was great, and then she went out riding, and she's kind of like she's got the list of winners, but it's just a matter of whether she's got them out to the people or not. So we're going to keep on there. I think, I think that uh, Sloby won some goggles from 509 and I think David was getting him set up and I'll make sure Mark, I'll make sure I contact them and, and, uh, and do it. Cause I don't want the reputation that we don't have prizes. If you're going to give prizes away, we got to give them away. Yes. Well, you I know, know I, uh, I sent Daredog won a Jersey on the uh, Christmas Eve show or Christmas show. And he wanted a hat and some decals. So I sent him that instead and I hope he enjoys them. I know they got nice. to him pretty recently. So that's awesome. Yeah. But this is for sure happening. Yes. Yardware.com slash pages slash snowmobile hyphen sessions. The noble V3 mono suit. And it, it's right here. And I'm doing it live. So don't, uh, there we go. And you can pick your own color. I mean, this is just one color that I'm showing here. But Oh, that's good to know. I actually was curious on that. Oh, no. Like, like I've got other colors here. I'll show you here. What? Check this out. Oh, wait. Can we get this here? Boom. There's, you can see that, right, Bobby? Oh, yeah. Uh, here's one for you. <laughs> this, this one's yours. I'm, I'm not kidding you, man. Look at that. Sweet. That'd be perfect. Uh, and... For Arctic Cat guys, like uh, more toys, more noise. We've got this one here. There you go. That, actually, you could wear that one, Swanky. I could, yeah. 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 That's you nice. put your put your zip your cat up inside there, and you could both go for a ride. And yeah, you probably like there that. There we go. What's your cat's name there? Uh, this is Oliver. This is uh, this is Swanky Cat. He has no tail. <laughs> he came. Is that, that the way. one? Is that the famous one? It is, yep. That's it awesome. Is. Good job. The one that started it all. So mm -hmm. I think you should get him back on for your intro. I probably, I really, I should do something, something other than what I've been doing. And yeah, maybe we'll incorporate the, the original Swanky Cat here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, so make sure you guys get on there and look at that. You imagine Odie, that matches his sled. Yeah. Right? He's destined to win. It's all coming together. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. But no, it's nice stuff. That's a gorgeous suit. It is. There we go. 100% waterproof and 100% windproof. You know? It's so that's the thing. They, the more natural tones with like the brighter tones too. Yeah. I, I do like this color. Yeah. yeah. This orange one. Yeah, the orange yeah. is cool. That's probably the one I'd pick if I want it. But the uh, look at all the zipper pockets too. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So that's awesome. So yeah, the uh, they've restocked. That was what they're excited about. They're out of stock, and now they can help everybody out. Old sled and car, car guy said it's more than what I paid for the formula. <laughs> Swanky cat, buy him a can of tuna for us. Buy your cat a can of tuna for us, he says. <laughs> yeah. We probably have some sitting around. Yeah, oh, I'm sure, right? Skidoo mock was just leaked, Luke M says. Yeah, Luke, Rev Rider made that. <laughs> we already came down to that conclusion. I was it's his work. Yeah, yeah, it's his work. Yeah, they get that going. Every I wonder if Skidoo does that, though, on purpose to get everybody tune in on February. Yeah, that's actually interesting you say that because that was one of the things I read on Do Talk. They said that when the G4 came out, Skidoo like deliberately put out um, an XM chassis with 880 on the hood to like throw people off, and then they released the G4. So who knows? Maybe they did release it to throw people off. You know? Yeah. Who knows? Right? Yeah. They, uh, I remember seeing a picture that somebody posted. It was the 600R in the Gen 4. And it was the year before, and it was they had came across this guy on the trail, just like what Dave Nerona was saying, where he was riding the 175, and that was before anything that long was out. And someone said, "Hey, that's not a 165," and he went, "I gotta, I, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later." And he, and he blew away, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's like somebody actually captured a photo of the 600R on the hood of the of the sled. It was kind of cool, right? So, yeah, but. Yeah, I don't know. I that the that web URL seems a little hokey to me, and the fact that it doesn't work is even worse. For there. sure. So yeah. We'll see. One of these guys that are, are faking these skidoo mock things is going to get lucky one year, and they're going to come out with one, and you know, yeah. he's going to say, "I told us so." <laughs> I, hate to say I thought I it was interesting. So. It was called the mock, and not like the mock Z or anything. You know, at least not in that little clip. Yeah, that's true too. Because you think it would. Like there was the mock, the mock one, the mock Z, so it should be the mock X. There you go. That or could be it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it shouldn't you're right. You you nail it. It's fake, Luke M. Don't don't <laughs> drink the Kool-Aid. It's probably some Polaris guy that created that little uh, thing. I, I'm just guessing, right? Oh, yeah. No one knows for the next two weeks, so yeah, the sled manufacturers seem to be always doing a good job of keeping new models under wraps. It's hard to believe these new, these leaked pictures. But hey, I welcome being proved wrong. I do too. Yeah. So, you know, I the yeah, sled squad. What's everyone looking forward to with 22, 22 sleds? I really think the six fifty or six seventy would be Trey Cool from Skidoo. Yeah, I can see it. I mean, even you know just I mean? some sort of saying to one of my riding buddies who has a 600 r you know a 700 would be kind of cool you know something in the middle you know yeah. but for it me would. i'm probably the most interested and in, i'm really hoping cat comes out with a new chassis i just want to see them back in the game you know on their best footing and uh see what they can bring to the table they would do well i think man i think people are ready for that change especially from that that arena right yep so uh you know yamaha is dabbling in the two stroke sleds again and it's like maybe that's a thing maybe that's a cat ready to come clawing back yeah pardon the pun there swing <laughs> you know yeah and yeah. uh i mean realistically whatever cat comes out with it's probably going to be a yamaha variation so yeah oh well, for sure for both brands dustin inger under 550 is that skidoo mxz 600 a spring order only or an all season buy if he's talking about the sport I was talking about last week, that's a in-season model. You just got to find a dealer that has some in stock. I know a couple around me have sold some, and I know like around me, Bibbins has a couple in stock right now, I think. So you just got to find a dealer that got um, either still has a 2021 or is getting the 2022s early. So That's the EFI. Yeah, the EFI. The not the yeah, R. Yeah. 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 No, that's right. Not the E-Tech. It's the EFI. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Where's the love for our guy, Sloby? What's that mean? Were they beating up on Sloby in the chat? Did I miss it? I don't know. There we go. Cat going to come out with a 900 two-stroke. I don't know. Would they do that? Yeah, that's a tough call. I mean, it would. I, I could see it to compete with the 850s, but I really think, I think 
Cat and Polaris are going to jump on the two-stroke turbo train. And I could see Cat just shoving it in a trail sled and being like, we're fast. Who cares? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> if right. someone's going to do it, Cat will do it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, the the Thundercat, I was talking to a guy on the trail last, uh, about a week ago or two weeks ago. I need a Thundercat. And that's like the mic drop right back then when it came out. Yeah. And it's like, that is a name to be reckoned with. If they just, they could do anything and slap a Thundercat brand on it. And it would be like, wow. You know? Yeah. So. Absolutely. I would have Calu says about the 900. He says I would have flashbacks back to the 900 fusion days. Yeah, <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. Those were scary so, times. Yeah. So there we go. Slowbee's back in the house. Ha <laughs> ha. Sh thanks, Shaggy says you're the man. <laughs> but yeah, I had fun with Slowbee on the other <laughs> a couple weeks ago. That was a hoot. Who knew? Yeah. He, who knew he had such good, uh, strong Canadian connections. <laughs> with our with our with our adult entertainment you know single mom he he likes employing the single moms there swain he, the dancers the love the, okay. the dancers <laughs> i love it yeah Yeah, slow be still waiting too. I'm gonna guys, I'm gonna go after all the, the the Gracie stuff this week for you guys. I started it, but I'll uh, I'll push on it and see what's going on. Um I didn't even ask Corey if he got his hoodie yet from them because he he got a hoodie on that one. So anyway, we may have to come up with something alternative. Uh, but I know uh I know Narpro was like, What? It wasn't giving away. I'm right on it. So he would he had hit Trailmaker 74 on that. And uh, was getting that taken care of right away. So nice. you got to realize, and, and that's the thing I told uh, to be outerwear this week, is that a lot of our viewers in the chat right now are actually YouTubers. So you give them any product, guess what? They're going to be wearing it or doing a video on it, right? Yeah. I, I mean, if, if you you can imagine Slow B, Bag Boys, or Jack from Slut Addicts, or, you know, Mark Bow, all these guys get anything they're going to do a video on it so yeah you know the thing trail maker head is because sled addicts had the video installing theirs and i'm thinking well hey trail maker must have his and it's like nope like me with the nar pro josh and nar labs is awesome yeah and josh actually is the guy that responded to me too so he uh um you know and trail maker hadn't gotten his and jesse jesse and mike had theirs first in canada so it's like what the hell? So we'll get her done. We'll 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 take care of you guys. You know that. But Bruce Stewart says I used to have a King Cat nine hundred. Is that right? Hmm. Yeah, I I'm think I remember familiar. that. I'm not familiar with that. It was a mountain sled, I think. Yeah, that that makes sense with that name. Yeah. Yeah. So Swanky. So companies or are you more just trying to keep your i don't know i'm not sure how to say it i want to say honest opinion out there you know not not get bought off by anybody sure um no i'll uh i'll definitely do uh, i've done plenty of like uh led uh like headlight videos um you do one or two of those and then uh you get you've got just millions of emails coming in about every uh piece of junk that's out there they're you know, people want you to do reviews on it and stuff. And I'll, I'll kind of research it after I, you know, get, uh, get an email about it and kind of check into it. And I, I usually don't review anything that I wouldn't buy myself. Uh, cause yeah. I don't really want to put out a bunch of negative reviews. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely open to it. Um, and I don't, you know, definitely don't try to hide it that I've, that I've got it for, for free or whatever. I mean, I, I think most of the time people kind of, kind of get that, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I just kind of try to be honest about whatever it is that I'm reviewing. I don't really, care what uh what the company that sent it to me thinks of it if they don't like it then I don't know, that's yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> and they shouldn't have sent it I, to me then so <laughs> yeah yeah i i actually bought a, a a unit and i was gonna do a a review on it and i i did some footage of installing it on my sled and and using it and then it failed i haven't done any video on it yet so i emailed the company and i said you know this product failed. I paid for it. What do you want me to do with it? Blah, blah, blah. And he said, send it back and we'll give you a replacement. It's like, well, you know what? I'm going to, I'm probably going to take the replacement and just raffle it off. So 
I'll talk to that when I do get the replacement on it. But it's like, yeah, I won't put my name on crap, you know, and that's the thing. And I waited to put that one out. And, uh, and it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this accessory and, and give it any reviews. And it was actually Mike Eisenberg that had one before and said, yeah, mine didn't work, kept falling apart and blah, blah, blah. And they fixed it. They apparently addressed it, but mine totally electronically failed. So mm -hmm. it was like, yeah, good thing I didn't put a video saying how great this product was because the third ride, it was dead. Yeah. So we'll see. They're going to, they're going to take care of it. And, and, uh, but I don't think I'm going to use it ever again. I'll probably just, uh, maybe I won't even raffle it off. That might be do not doing the viewers any justice. Yeah. Either, right? <laughs> hey, would good. you like some shit? We're going to raffle <laughs> it off for you. <laughs> so I guess that's not how it works is what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so what's what's coming up there, Swanky Cat? Like, what do you got planned? Are you got some more trail rides in, or uh, like, can you uh, ride every night, kind of thing? Is that is that where you're at, or I've kind of just been trying to stick, uh, like last year, just kind of stick into like weekend rides. Um, I mean, later in the year, obviously, it's a little bit lighter when I get off of work, but like right now, I would only have like maybe a half hour, forty five minutes of daylight, and I've been trying to trying to stick to daylight only videos, so. Yeah, it'll pretty much just be weekend stuff. Uh, I do have a ride. I've got, I think, two videos uh, from the UP yet that I'll be putting out. Uh, one I might hold off on. That's a, a nighttime one that, like I said, I don't really like doing. So that one might, uh, maybe I'll throw it in at the end of the season or beginning of next or something. But then I've got one ride from uh, the first time that I was out uh, just in my county here. Uh, and then yeah, after that, I don't I, I don't have anything. So I'll have to, have to get out and ride again, which is definitely okay with me. So yeah, no, nothing, uh, nothing big, maybe, a, maybe another drive through video, I guess we'll have to see. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about all I've got. I don't know. I've got to, got to put some, some more thought into it and come up with something a little bit more click worthy, but, uh, yeah, nothing big in the works. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I, I actually posted your, uh, your YouTube video link in the chat. If anyone's not subscribed, check it out actually, and start from day one. Cause it's pretty interesting. It's pretty entertaining stuff. He's, he, uh, he does some pretty crazy stuff crazy things and uh you know gets himself into into some trouble and then some but I yeah do, subscribe yeah. to subscribe to swanky there you probably already are if you're watching this you probably already are but uh yeah i think you'd all love you'd all love his channel that's for sure and dominator 286 thanks for hooking him up with us man that's yeah, awesome for sure mm -hmm. yeah it's uh it takes fans to breed fans for sure. Dominator 286 says Swanky Michigan Outlaws will be in Rhinelander a week from this weekend. At the same time, I'll be out at Boulder Junction. Are you up north that weekend? Uh, I don't think I have anything planned. I guess uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. We'll have to see. It'll be fun. Is it a pretty long drive for you to get up to the UP? Uh, Is that the UP? Uh, nope, that's just okay. kind of like the northern part of Wisconsin. Uh, pretty close. I mean, you, it's, it's only a couple minutes apart. Um, yeah, from here, that's probably like an uh, hour and a half, maybe a little bit more. I'm I'm kind of like on the, the outskirts of like the Wausau area, which is kind of like central, kind of as central as you can get to central Wisconsin. So Nice. Not too bad of a commute. Pretty typical for some mobilers no. to yeah. go an hour and a half. Yep. Michigan Outlaw says that would be awesome. You know what? Jake could bring his cat and uh, and you could have your cat. Maybe it could meet up and make cat babies. You could have like the outlaw swanky ba swanky <laughs> outlaw babies. You know? Maybe. Uh, Dustin asked if uh, the little guy is going to ride uh, snowmobiles or motorcycles. And uh, he's already quite excited about the, the motorcycles and the sleds and the four wheelers. I've got uh, actually my bikes uh, just in the the back part of the basement here uh for the winter time and even when he was like six months we'd bring him down here and uh set him on a bike and he got extremely upset when you would take him off he's uh he's excited already so i'm excited about it <laughs> that's awesome yeah yeah that's cool no you got to start them young and eh? get make sure they're not uh not afraid of anything right yeah for sure yeah but no that's uh that's pretty cool and guys, what do we what are we not forgetting to do this week? What, what's your homework out there in the chat? What do we got to do? 
We have to enter a draw, right? We have to go to to be sportswear, and we have to enter a draw. And I and I'm not sure if you know where the link is, but I'm telling you, there it is. There to be outerwear.com slash pages slash snowmobile dash sessions and go there and fill it out and wednesday we're doing it live at noon okay that makes sense works for me perfection have you got that dominator 286 jesse buckman are you got that uh, jesse already entered he said that's good luke you, you get your name in there sled squad come on get on there fill it all out let's go let's get it done and also so check out everything else. They've got the full line on there. It's pretty cool stuff. But the draw that they're doing for us is a is a hundred percent waterproof and a hundred percent windproof 2B Novo three mono suits valued at nine hundred dollars US dollars or eleven ninety nine ninety five Canadian. How's that for exchange? You guys could ride up here for free if you come up to our gas stations. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Take it. Yeah. Jumpman Jay's back in the house. Missed you, buddy. I was wondering where I hadn't seen that name up there. He I know, he right? Out, he said he was out ice fishing. That's good. Hopefully he caught some. Finally, someone on this channel I like, Dominator286, says, what does that mean for our other guests there, <laughs> Rick? Very nice. Bobby, like, come on. <laughs> Did more of a shot at us. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jumpman J loves the gear. He wears a 2B mono suit. It's a beauty. Nice. There you go. Shoot a picture into that Jumpman J. I'll flash it up on screen. He's got, He's got the good Jumpman. luck with the, the winds, so he'll probably enter and get a second one. <laughs> oh, yeah, no kidding, right? Jumpman J's got the 509 helmet, and and uh, and he's got the 2B mono suit. Nice. Love it. Swanky, would you go to Minnesota for a ride? Um, I have not really looked into what they have for trails over there at all. Um, I mean, it, really, the the big reason that we that we travel uh, up to the UP is just because they're open earlier and later uh, than our season is. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe someday. I mean, I I plan on continuing to grow the channel. I don't know what it'll turn into, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, going different places, I think, would definitely be a possibility in the future. We'll see what. Uh, See what the future brings, but uh, I, I definitely would be interested in. Yeah, awesome. Maybe they'll ride with you. Two uh, Sloby wants to know if they have a fat boy suit. <laughs> well, let's check it out. Let's see if they do here. Right, we're gonna we're gonna boot this up here, and where are we here? There's Swanky Cat. Let's see how big's Fat Boy Sloby. You're, you're not that big, are you? Uh, TV adds 20 pounds, so we're, uh, you know, you're probably only about 185, I think. Is that right? <laughs> well, what's going on? We're going to watch some Swanky Cat videos? There you go. Oh, we're gonna. <laughs> here we go. We're going to see what they got here. Mono suits. This is the website. They're all fully stocked. So where we got it? This is the, uh, these are the colors here you can get. Okay, what color do you want there, Sloby? You better not win or it's going to look fake. <laughs> so they got up to 4XL. Don't tell me you're 5XL. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Yeah, they've got, they've got marked out sizes here, but I think they're, uh, they're already selling out, but I think they've got real... Uh, yeah, they go up to 4XL. We just got to find the right model with the size. And they're probably adding them to the website as we go here. But the, uh, where's that Novo 3? So there you go. Everything from 2XS to 4XL. So. Jamming out so, over there. Yeah, I was getting some music playing. They got a. <laughs> little soundtrack on the site there that's that's nice, nice. <laughs> yeah but yeah so anyway get on there make sure you fill out the the draw to win it though yeah so he carries it like a g where we got here slow b did you, did you give me no maybe three or four he said 
I said, 185? No. Come on, buddy. Oh, maybe he's thinking like three or four pounds the TV ads. I don't know. That's why when I met Rich, I was like, I'd never met him before. I only seen him on this screen. And when I met him, I was like, I didn't know what he was going to, how tall he was going to be or short he was going to be. Or it's like, it's like really cool to, to see that happen. So yeah, kind of exceeds your expectations, you know. How do I enter the draw, fellas? Jumpman J says. Well, you go on to this link here. I'll post it up there again. You go on to that link that I just put there and uh, and just fill it out. Fill out the ballot and then tune in here on noon on uh, on Wednesday. And we'll, uh, we'll do the draw live. We'll try and make it fun. Right? So well, we always do. Says. Yeah. I'm a trail rider. Model suits are too and smoochies to me i'm sure they do something else for you if you want it though bruce you know what i mean hasty boy says dominator 286 good suit yeah you know what though like uh the uh they'd probably do something else for you guys if you if you want it so just go on there and win it Odie the sled guy says copy and paste it in your browser that's right <laughs> get her done it's in the chat, so go to the chat and get it. I'll put it in the comments section, too, as a first comment, and away we go. So anyone, not enough about me. Has anyone got anything to ask for uh, for Swanky Cat while we got him on the air? I'm an Wait, open book. Lots of, lots of people. Let's see, if Jumpman Jay got here earlier, it would have been – would have been better. He would have kept it going for us, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we I think we covered it all off. My chat's just like uh garbly gook, man. <laughs> it's that that's the way it should be though. Would you think anything less of me, right? That's true. You know? We got all the wild ones on my side. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going through to make sure we didn't miss anything here. Tracks and so, Waves. That's kind of a neat username. I know, right? Yeah. Swanky, I know you said you wanted to get one of the turbos down the road. Do you do a lot of like lake riding or do you just plan to use that on the trail? Uh, no, pretty much just on the trail. Um, I mean, we like I said, we've got some kind of open areas that you hit once in a while. Uh, there's definitely some some opportunities to, to open it up and uh, – see what it'll do and uh my my current sled uh it it's still uh it'll it'll kind of surprise you once in a while but uh yeah i'm, I'm kind of to the point where i want something that'll uh scare me a little bit more i guess and uh, i'm hoping that a turbo will do that and i i think it definitely will um the sleds that i've been looking at um i've seen a couple that are already tuned and i've kind of been doing some research and it sounds like you can get like 220 or so horsepower out of them um, safely, you can get more than that, but not probably not a good idea to do any more than that. I guess is what I've been reading, and uh, yeah, I kind of want to see what that feels like. Mine, mine makes like 125, so 220 sounds like it'd be a, a little bit of fun. So yeah, for sure. <laughs> as long as it doesn't eat belts. Yeah, right? that's true, and I think I finally have that that solved with the the big fin clutch on mine. I think that that fixed it up because yeah, that was that was definitely a, a pain in the butt. Uh, the writing that I did up in the UP were there are a lot of railroad grades and, you know, times where you really are running, you know, 70, 70 miles an hour for, you know, a couple minutes at a time. Uh, definitely was, uh, was not cool to, to be able to not do that when everybody else could. So yeah, now that I've got that fixed up, I, I think uh, I'm a lot happier with the sled, but yeah, that'll be interesting to see what the, what the turbos would do. Cause yeah, I think that's, that's kind of a problem for those. So hopefully I don't buy another sled and then run into that again. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They, uh, they say you need to run the Kevlar carbon belt. I think it's called carbon, but it's a Kevlar-based belt. Sure. The, um, yeah, yeah. So Jumpman Jay sent me an email. He said, did you get the email, buddy? Let me see if he sent it to me here. With all my internet problems tonight, who, who knows? You'll go to pull it up and you'll disappear again. Oh, I know. No kidding, right? I ran into a guy once that had a, a turbo and he said he used windshield wiper fluid as a type of meth injection on it. I don't know how oh, true man. that is, but it sounded pretty yeah. impressive. Yeah. 
Hmm. David McKinney just sent me a kick-ass photo. Wait till you see this. I'm not sharing the screen right now. I might hold on here a second. Here. Check that out. This is last week, he says. Dang. Uh, last week in Wyoming. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Oh, right. oh, oh. Hey, did you name your sled yet, uh, David? I seen that question come up in the chat earlier. Look at this. You see that? Crazy. Wow. Look at he's buried. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like another red ski tip there beside it. What's that? Holy crap. That's amazing. Jumpman J, here it is here. Hey fellas, here's my shot of my mono suit from 2B. I love it. It really keeps warm and a ride minus 25 to minus 30 often great sympathetic technology and it's waterproof too the model is older and is a toby tiro i believe yes that's right they still do the tiro and we're giving away the novo you guys see that yep. that's his mono suit what's it right. like jump man jay when you go into a restaurant does it have the suspenders inside or is, can you fold it down easy look at the size of the pocket on there that's pretty awesome but the, yeah. Uh, yeah, let us know what you like, uh, what it's like there. I've seen some things that people were concerned about when they go into a restaurant, what it's going to be like. But uh, I know some of them have an internal um, suspenders in it, so you just fold the top down and you just wear it like pants when you go in. So Snowstorm's looking at 2B boot. That's awesome. Yeah, go on the website there. They've got it all now, and they're restocking it as we go. Yeah. Swanky Dominator 286 says, I said it before, but my favorite video of yours is when you took Honey Badger and the baby to Taco Bell. It's good to <laughs> see the human. Yeah, that's true too, right? It was just a good family outing. Oh, where do we go here? Yeah, it was just a good family outing, right? Yeah, 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 that was fun. Yeah, yeah you said something else too that now I lost it, but where did that go? Yeah, Jumpman uh, J says, yes, it has suspenders and a great goggle pocket, very lightweight and has suspenders and tuck my sleeves in the waist when he pulls it down to eat there you go perfect i just leave my coat on when i go in restaurants so i don't i don't think a monosuit would bother me at all no i don't think it would like i i think that would be great to just fold it down like you said tuck your sleeves in you got the suspenders to hold your pants up you know and away you go yeah yeah so dominator also asked if uh i've ever met uh, or talked to jeremy rides um, and I pretty much only talked to him over YouTube and, uh, back when I had an Instagram, I talked to him, I think on Instagram a few times. Uh, but that's, that's been about it. And I really haven't talked to him much, uh, recently. Um, that's, he blocked you though, right? Is that, is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, I, uh, um, I got rid of my Instagram. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw any of that, but there was kind of some questionable, things that they put in their user agreement that I decided to dump. So, Oh no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I sort maybe it's all conspiracy theories, but it's, uh, I don't know. It, uh, maybe a little bit uncomfortable. So I, I dumped it. I never use it that much anyways. So, well here, here, Bobby and I use it all the time. I mean, is it something we should be concerned with or no? Um, it, it sounded like, I mean, they, they try to play it off. Like, they just want to be able to serve you better and see what you're interested in. But it's a lot of stuff like they can like use your, your camera on your phone or your computer, or whatever, whenever they want to see how you're, how you're reacting with your, with what you're looking at and uh, something about that. They can kind of like get into your whole system and kind of look at whatever they want to, to, to see what you're doing on the internet otherwise. So I don't know. Isn't maybe that, a little isn't bit that true with everything like it, like Google uh, and Siri and Alexa is crazy. Yeah, this seemed a little bit worse than everything else. I mean, everything is uh, is kind of scary when you really read into it. But th this seemed a little bit worse. And I mean, it's it's just what what you're signing that you're saying is okay. I mean, they can probably do whatever they want, whether whether or not you know it or not. But I don't know. <laughs> I I just uh, kind of decided that I didn't use it enough anyways, so I just kind of got rid of it. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Like a, I, I mean, I I. Uh... I was talking to someone the other day and I forget what their name was. And it was, it might've been Sarah. And then Siri says, 
I was just talking and something and, and then Siri goes, I don't understand what you're saying. Cause I said, Sarah, blah, 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 or whatever. And it's like, and Siri answered. It's like, you bitch, get off the air. <laughs> you know, not Sarah. Sarah was great. And it's Siri was the problem. But, and Alexa does that all the time too. Right. If you have a, like if someone was telling me their wife's name's Alexis. And oh, it's yeah, like, that'd be rough. <laughs> and it's like, Oh yeah. And it comes on all the time. It's like, so this thing's listening, man. Like I wouldn't be worried about Instagram because this, you've got these things and including and the mine's on the computer. I don't have a Google pod or, or all that stuff. Right. Mine's just the computer was listening and it, and it picked up on, on, Hey Sarah. And it was like, I don't understand. It's like, no, I didn't say Siri. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, we've got them kind of all over the house and yeah, they're, uh, they've got the, the little, uh, or is it the the off button? Oh, I can see all my beers. Where is it? There we go. I don't have enough cord yeah. length, but yeah, they've got the. the <laughs> yeah. you, you can tell it to to turn it off, but yeah, I, I doubt that really does anything. I think it's always listening, but that's all right. They're handy to have. You can get music whenever you need it. So, <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, for sure. There, I just put that drop again. Enter to win. Draw here live Wednesday at noon. One hundred percent waterproof. One hundred percent windproof. Two B Novel V three mono suit. Valued at how much? Swanky Cat, tell us U.S. dollars what it's worth. Uh, nine hundred and something. Nine hundred, and it's eleven. It's almost twelve hundred dollars, a nickel short Canadian. So go there. Oh, there it is. It's right in the chat. I could. It I is. Could Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could have cheated. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's awesome. But yeah. So, twenty twenty skidoo skidoo's just leaked. Rich, or sorry, Bobby. What do you think about that? That is some brand new information. I haven't yeah. heard that yet. Your little meme that you created is <laughs> is gone wild. Coda Bear TV's in the house. He says, "Hey, how's how you doing, boys?" Good, Coda Bear. Get in there, yeah. Coda Bear should get on that draw. And we already seen they have sizes for fluffy people, right? Because that's what uh, Sloby was asking about. <laughs> so, not that whatever. I mean, there you go. One crafty badger says, I'm always, is that, that's bad, honey badger. Yep, that is honey badger. That? That's my wife. Yep. I'm always yelling at Alexa, <laughs> LOL. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she, her and Alexa do not get along at all. Oh, well, yeah. now she's listening. Never mind, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Swanky does have merch, Sloby. There you go. Yeah, Swanky Cat. So people find you. If you're if you dumped Instagram, how do they find you? Um, YouTube is probably the best place uh, to see the majority of the stuff that I put out. I do post stuff on my Facebook page once in a while. Now that I don't have Instagram, I'll post pictures and stuff there once in a while. But yeah, YouTube is probably the best place. Um, and there is actually a uh, merch bar down below. I think any of the videos that you watch now, I think I've kind of got that figured out. Um, so yeah, mostly YouTube. That'd be the best place to look me up. Awesome. At Swanky Cat, and I put the link up there. I'll share it again before we go. Actually, 2B Outerwear just got a hold of me by text. She says, she says, just wanted to share that they have the Tiro mono suit in dark ink and 4XL and in formula red. We have the 3XL. The winner can choose. This is for who said that up there? I think it was the uh, Dominator 286. A winner can choose jacket slash bib if they prefer. So there you go. Nice. That's so they awesome. will swap it out. So just get in there and and uh, and introduce it. Will Marnock says they brought back the mark mock Bobby. <laughs> they did. They did. That's crazy. Yeah, totally brought it back. Well, totally. With we were out of the link, curve. Free link brackets too. You're good. I mean, you don't get any of the stuff to hook up to them, but you get the brackets. That's right. <laughs> so. Yeah, so anyway, get on there and enter to win because it's not only that. Uh, here, we got it. Oh, I got it up on screen already. Here we go. Draw here live Wednesday at noon, 100% waterproof, windproof, 2B, Novo 3, V3, but they'll also sub it out if you if you want something different. So there you go. Yeah, Will actually said somebody leaked. Oh, we're doing so good. <laughs> oh, right at the end here. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think what Will's talking about, it looks like Sledders R Us has the actual website pulled up and you can kind of like look at each model. So yeah, I mean, maybe that it, th those were the sleds. It could be two weeks early, but I guess we'll find out. Yep. So uh, there's a question that Gary always asks, like what's your ideal um, snowmobile session? So like your favorite snowmobile ride, do you have a favorite area or a favorite day, that type of thing? Um, yeah, I, I mean, most of the time what I do is trail riding, but, uh, I definitely like to, uh, to be able to find a spot kind of off the trail after some, some good trail riding to, uh, to do some kind of off trail stuff and some deep snow. I think that'd probably be, probably be the best. I like a mix of the two. I, I definitely, uh, have tried my hand at, uh, carving in some deep snow a few times and I would not be able to do that all day. Uh, at least not in, uh, <laughs> but with my current physique anyways, I don't know how those guys do it, but, uh, yeah, I think uh, a mix of the two, uh, probably heavy on the trail, riding light on the the off trail would be would be just about perfect for me. So there you go. Jenny, I had some, his favorite snowmobile session while you were gone. So <laughs> yeah, good. Oh yeah, perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. And what uh, do you have any tips for people uh, learning to carb that kind of thing? Newbies like me. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably the wrong person to ask, but I, I think. I think the best thing you can do is really just kind of hang off of the, the sled as, as much as you possibly can. I mean, that's really, really the only thing that that's going to get that sled to, to kind of come over. And then once it does and you kind of get it to the balance point, I mean, that's, that's kind of the, the sweet spot and it's, it's definitely hard to stay there to begin with. And uh, what, what the guy that I are with uh, all the time, Crossfire Jason says is basically you want to, you want to point the tips kind of the opposite way that you want to go. So if you want to go left, you kind of have to get, get up on that on that left ski and turn the bars to the right which is obviously pretty counterintuitive uh to what usual riding is like but uh yeah I, I would say probably watch some videos uh i don't know if i've actually ever seen it but i know jeremy rides does have a, a tutorial i think out on it i'm i'm definitely not the not the expert on it but uh i guess maybe i should do a little more practice and maybe make some videos of that if, if maybe we get some more snow i think we i think we have maybe 14 inches in the uh the shaded spots out in the yard here so that's that's kind of getting to to carving territory. We'll see. Yeah, I think Jeremy does it in like two inches of snow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's carving. I think that's more like leaning the sled over. But that's that's like us too. We don't get enough of it, and then you get up to like where we were a few weeks ago, where you have forty inches of snow, and you don't know what to do with it. It's right, it's like much. in your face and over your hood, and it's it's awesome. But it's like I would love an afternoon to play in it, so that I could just try it right where we get drifts we get a drift line but you're bashing them and there isn't enough room on the top to actually do any big carving right but, uh, my buddy dino went to quebec and he took the, the the there's a course where they teach you the back uh, back country techniques and he was on my front lawn one time and i don't have a lot of room between my sidewalk and a tree line and he was turning his renegade around which is a 137 so it's a little bit longer and he just stuck out the side and turn right to go left and blew it right around in like a like a almost a 90 degree u it was pretty incredible it's like well I took out my spotlight for christmas decorations but it was pretty neat to see <laughs> oh yeah. no so, yeah yeah that's that's Robert, definitely uh where i would like to be able to get to that's uh, i've definitely run into situations where you're trying to hit reverse in uh in some deep snow and if anybody's ever tried that you know that doesn't work so well but uh yeah being able to to turn around uh, short radius like that 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 would be that would be ideal for a lot of the stuff that i ride we end up on on kind of deep snow trails that's really the only place that you can find the deep snow most years is kind of on old logging roads and stuff and yeah I, I haven't quite mastered that yet i've I've been in some situations where i've had to get off the sled and drag the rear around and that's no fun so yeah getting getting better at yeah. that is definitely on my to-do list that's cool the uh Robert Reiner says, Swanky, give that cat of yours a nice cool wrap. Would the vinyl get stuck in the fur of its tail, though? Like, yeah, I want to They're actually both here. Oh, I can't see either. Oh, there's one. Oh, look at the ones chilling on the couch. It's awesome. Then, yeah, there's the other one. Oh, yeah, that is. Perfect. That's great. <laughs> Jumpman J, I really appreciate everything you boys do with these giveaways and contributors. The fact that you're able to have great guests like this on each week blows my mind you guys are an inspiration there you go swanky thinks you're a great guest i appreciate well, we that. I'm happy beyond. for yeah. sure no it's good 
we're happy with anybody that'll, that'll waste time with us on a Monday night. <laughs> 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 you know, even Rich got sick of it and said, I'm not doing it. No more. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. I'm out of here. You know, <laughs> he probably just didn't come on the show so he can win the 2B outerwear. Ah, it checks out. Is that yeah. the shtick? Yeah. That's the shtick. Hopefully this one will have the logo in. going the right way. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I should ask to be out or where if their logo will be printed the right way on it and we can make him make him when he takes selfies. Maybe we should print it backwards and then when he takes selfies, it'll be the right way. That's the trick right <laughs> there. That's the trick. I wonder if Rich is still wa watching. I don't, I don't know. know. I haven't seen him. I feel like he maybe disappeared. Yeah, he said he had. Some, he's probably out riding the lucky bugger. You know, right? So, yeah, yeah. So, well, that's good. No, we appreciate you do coming on, Swanky. That's awesome. Oh, I'm happy to happy to be here. This has been fun. Yeah. No, I look. I and again, like I said, I'm I'm subscribed to your channel, and it's like I, I went and looked up some pictures and stuff. It's like there's a few videos on here I don't remember seeing. The one I watched, and I was like, oh yeah, I seen that one, but. There's a couple on there I got to go back and watch or rewatch. So, Pasty Boy says, "Great show, guys." Do you watch Pasty Boy Swank? Uh, I want to say I definitely have. I'm I'm absolutely terrible about watching anything on YouTube. I, I pretty much spend most of my time uploading and not nearly enough time watching. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely have to to get back into it and check some of these guys out. I've been hitting the subscribe button to uh, a couple people as we've been cool. You know, That's watching awesome. Here, so. No, that's good. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to Rich Outdoors too. It's it's capital R and then lowercase I C H and then okay. all caps outdoors. That's that's our other host, Rich Hup. And right. he's a he's a fairly new guy and and he puts a lot of work into this show as well, as you can see tonight. You know, but Bobby, <laughs> you've done a great job, man. Like we put you on the spot. You've been carrying it, buddy. Thank you. No problem. That's what it's all about, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I think I see a shift in you, son. Like <laughs> you, 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 be, you know, and Only how's Kim? How's Kim doing? Like I'm heard from Kim. She's not on my chat anymore. Is it something I said? No, she's yeah. always watching. She's actually getting a new car. She's getting a new uh, Jeep Cherokee on Wednesday. So that's exciting stuff for her. Sweet. Yeah. I don't know if it will. Will it pull the? Uh, will it pull the big trailer or what? Probably not. You know, I had a guy come up to me and ask me if my truck could tow that trailer, and I'm like, Do you? It's a half ton. Like, are you? <laughs> and it's a hammy. Well, like, it was a ridiculous question. I get people joking me about my eco diesel all the time too, but don't. They're probably Chevy, right? Drivers, you know. Right. right. Dominated two eighty six wanted to see Pasty Boy, Shag Boy, Swanky Cat, and then Jeremy rides. So two down, one to go. Thanks, Gary and Rev, for making this happen. Thanks, Dominator two eighty six. I we got the first two. You got the third one, and he, I, I think Dominator two two eighty six has has Jeremy rides on the hook, and we're just I just got to reel him in now. So that's awesome. all. That, yeah, that's all that has to happen. But yeah, but uh, I have Jeremy rides. That's Odie, the sled and car guy, but <laughs> uh, not Jeremy rides. You know, slightly different. Yeah. <laughs> So <laughs> there's Odie, the sledding guy, car guy. This is nice. My aunt just bought a Jeep from me a couple weeks ago and she loves it. Awesome. Yeah. This will be you my get, third Cherokee. So she's very, uh, very practiced with them. <laughs> you get the grand Cherokee with the eco diesel in it, man. And then you're rocking. Yeah. I could have that. Yeah. Maybe I could tow the trailer. Who knows? You could tow the trailer and put your Hemi in the back of the trailer. <laughs> and the sleds on the back of the Hemi, and it would pull it like there was nothing there. There it is. I, I love my Eco Diesel, and the new ones are supposed to be even better. So awesome. Yeah. But I didn't think Odie was a Jeep guy. I didn't think he was Dodge. When is Skidoo's full release this year? Do you really know, like the real one, not the, the fake one that you you put out earlier? Seventeenth <laughs> or eighteenth? I think the seventeenth. One of those two days. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna have to hit up Dave Narona. And see what's going on. You know, we'll get Energy Power Sports on for for that, and that could be really get cool. Them, get, yeah. get them to comment on some stuff, and maybe they can fill us on it. February seventeenth. Robert Reinhardt said, oh, "Okay." Yeah. So Bobby's going that. through more jeeps than sleds. <laughs> Kim is, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice. And your dad's doing well. 
Yeah, he got a new car too. He got a little uh, GMC terrain for himself. Uh, apparently, we're just in the market for new cars. Who knew? <laughs> Good God, there's no recession in the U.S. Who's, who's right. saying that? <laughs> Deals to be had all over the place. No yep, kidding, we, man. You're we, just giving them a, a VW uh, Atlas out in the driveway that we're test driving right now. Ooh, so, very actually, nice. they're nice, are they? Yeah, yeah, they're they're sweet. I've I've definitely got. Uh, if we end up with this one, I'll. Definitely put some some rims and some mud tires on it. I think <laughs> four inch lift. Yeah, <laughs> they they actually have lifts for them. I guess uh, the, uh, Honey Badger was looking into that. Wow, they, you can get wild. a suspension lift for them even. Go figure. So what uh, what's in it for an engine? Uh, they I think they have uh, like a four cylinder, but this has got I think they call it like a oh, what is it? it? It's a V six. I don't know. They've got some the name. V, for it, they but. called it the VR six in the in the golfs, right? So, uh yeah that sounds right yeah yeah that, that might be that might be what it is but yeah it's a the one that we've got yeah it's the six cylinder the it's like all all wheel drive it's not not like a truck where you can put it in four wheel all all the time or whatever it's just like the the all wheel drive that so it kicks in whenever it needs it but nice yeah and so is swanky gonna get a new sled i think we answered this but i was on glitch mode then uh yeah that I don't know if there is an answer to that for sure. Uh, we'll see. Um, I think it'll be the, it was the, the first ride that I took in Marathon County. I was kind of talking about it and I was all gung-ho about it until uh, like two weeks ago or a week ago. And uh, the sled that I had been looking at had sold and then uh, we still hadn't been getting any snow. So I kind of decided that I would just wait until next year, but I don't know. Now we got all this snow and uh, money's kind of burning a hole in my pocket, so I guess we'll we'll see what what pops up on fa Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it'll mm. e either be a new sled or a new motorcycle. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, depends what what, are, what the what deal pops up. What are the prices like in your both of you guys in the U.S. Are they outrageous because of COVID? Like our prices are obnoxious. I don't know if they're any worse. I guess. I mean, everything seems like it's really pricey around here. And honestly, like I'll look kind of outside of my like immediate area, like more like four hours away and it seems like the prices are better um so i don't know why that is but uh yeah i mean things seems like they're kind of always out of a, out of control in like the wausau area so uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, in my area i would say like the, the like late 00 sleds to like the mid 2010 sleds are probably like six to seven hundred dollars overpriced and then as you get to the newer stuff i mean it seems like a lot of it's sold so there's not a ton of newer stuff floating around anymore but anything that is still floating around the guys are like asking msrp for you sleds and I'm, i don't know who would ever yeah. buy that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think now that I mean, it's, up, I think it's, it's a, probably probably the worst time to buy <laughs> yeah well unfortunately like you go to a dealer and you can't buy a sled right that's what john luke from energy power sports was saying yeah. Um, there's Luke M. I saw Ski Doo Free Ride Turbo on Marketplace for 24K the other day. That's yeah. what they were new, right? You know? So, hey, Slowby just subbed you, the Swanky Cat. Looking forward to the oh, wormhole. Thanks, Slowby. Yeah. <laughs> so, the wormhole of watching videos. <laughs> yeah. So, there you go. We there we got you. We made you viral now. We, we made you a, I a, appreciate a that. YouTube celebrity. <laughs> right? Like the one show. That's a Bobby yeah. and I do. We turn people into YouTube celebrities. Awesome. Except myself. <laughs> <laughs> so so Slowby was out of subs, so we had to actually I had to unsubscribe from Mud Brats and he had to subscribe to <laughs> <laughs> I had to actually put a video out today of trail riding because I was I everyone was saying, well, where did he go? What is he doing? And it's like, and then all I've been putting out is like sale, like led lights get them here you know like it's like <laughs> slowly says laugh my ass off Shh, Gary. <laughs> yeah so yeah so anyway yeah so it's like i had to put out a trail riding video and like i said i i, I went into it thinking yeah there's nothing nothing here anybody's gonna watch and i went oh that's all right uh someone will watch that one person yeah. will anyway yeah so. yeah you never know yeah, yeah th this no, year's no. been a, a rough year for me with the the slow snow um and hopefully now I can get a bunch of content now that we've actually got some snow. But yeah, I, I think somebody commented on one of my videos and said that I've been doing more uh, like sled maintenance videos than riding videos, which is pretty rare for me since I, I like to ride way more than I like to do any maintenance. So it's yeah, been, a, yeah. been an off year, but 
I don't know. I, you got you got to do the maintenance once in a while, I guess. So it's been a good year well, for that. Anyway. You know, with all the new people out there riding, they're going to look for that, right? Yeah. So I don't think sure. it's a bad thing as far as the maintenance goes. Like, like mine was more, um, well, self fulfilling to the sense that I was out of stock on the one LED, so I had to find another brand. So I found one and I had to do a video to launch it, and you know, so that's that's kind of where I went. I went well. I better get some trail riding videos out there. So, you know. Cause I can't let, I can't let the Michigan outlaws get away on me. <laughs> you know, I, I told the, I told Mike and Jesse from sled addicts when they hit a thousand, I said, don't forget me when you pass me in two weeks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the little guy. Yeah. So. yeah. I think, I think having a mix of, uh, of the trail riding and like the maintenance stuff. And, uh, and like you said, like the, the led video that you did, I think having all that stuff is definitely good. I mean, you gotta have stuff that is, uh i guess first of all clickable but you got to have stuff that um people are going to search for i mean obviously there are people out there that are searching for trail riding videos but i think there's a lot more people out there searching for videos on how to change you know oil on a four stroke or how to clean power valves on a two stroke and even though some of that stuff you know when you're thinking about doing it either you don't want to film it just because it's kind of a hassle or you think nobody's going to click on it because there's you know a bunch of other videos out there like it that you know why why does anybody want to watch me? I honestly struggle with this all the time. And uh, actually, Honey Badger will uh, I think she actually convinced me the, the video that I did on the oil change on my sled I was not gonna not gonna record it. And now that's got like a couple thousand views on it. And it's it's definitely a good way to get people to your channel. Um, obviously, you have to have content like the the writing videos that are you know going to keep certain people not everybody's going to want to watch that some people just want to no, see the, the oil change and be done with it but i think having a good mix of the two i think is a is a good way uh to do it and has worked uh well enough for me anyways that i think i'm going to try to continue to do it whenever i'm not lazy and don't want to turn the camera on <laughs> yeah no i i just realized like the the that people recognizing me more this year than, than other years are saying. And it was, it's probably because of this more than anything else. Um, but the, like, what do you get when you're out there? Like you have, you have what, 12,000 subscribers now or, or more. Um, uh, I don't the, know if uh, or not. I think close to that. Sorry. I, I did. Uh, maybe I was way low on that. Uh, I don't know. I, I honestly don't pay attention. Yeah. 13, 64 looks like yeah well there you go so you got so do you get the the do you get the the people recognizing when you're out and you know you're, you're out and or or uh on the sled trail i don't think i have ever been approached anyways i want to say i think maybe people have said that they maybe saw me um or maybe saw me driving in the winter time i have been approached a couple times in the in the summertime um, and I've talked to people that will watch the channel, uh, in parking lots and stuff, but, uh, yeah, in, in the winter, it seems like, I don't know if I, if I do it, uh, intentionally necessarily, I, I guess I, I don't really realize that I do, but I think a lot of times when I ride on the trails, there's nobody else out and I don't, I don't really, uh, stop anywhere when I'm by myself. Like I, I've been into a couple bars when I'm out with, with friends, you know, for lunch or whatever, but for the most part, I'm. Kind of out on the trail by myself and don't really see a whole lot of other people, so I think there isn't a whole lot of uh, opportunity for that. But uh, yeah, I mean, definitely if anybody sees me out on the trail, uh, feel free to to stop me and say hi. I'd like to like to meet the subscribers and talk to you guys for a while and stuff. But yeah, it hasn't happened yet too much on the sled. So yeah, it's kind of funny because this year it's been a couple of times. Like I said, at furry at, at backyard recreation at furries the other day, and then we we're just sitting shooting the shit on the at a T intersection, these guys come up to read the map and the one guy started yelling and come over to me. And I've had a couple comments in the video. I thought the one guy was mad at me pointing <laughs> as he's driving across the intersection. Then, and then, and I even say it in the video that I didn't know what I was doing wrong there. And then he said, that was me at whatever time code. And, oh. and so it's, it's neat because I don't know what to say. Like even when furry called me out the other day, it's like, I I'm, I'm flat. Like I only do this because of helping out the other people and, and companies and like the, that's what I was saying to, to be, she contacted me and it's like the, uh, the whole reason was to fill in the gap with the sled shows have, lo have left us with, you know, like people are longing for, for information and content and to, to connect. And this is, this is like everybody, this is like me having my, my garage and sitting out and working on my sled and, and all my buddies, Finn O'Connell and Nody sled guy and, 
Justin Knapp, Kevin, you know, David McKinney and Cody, and we're just shooting shit in my garage, right? Over a couple beers, and that's what it's all about, right? So it's, yeah, I don't, true. I was just wondering, curious how you handle it. Like when you get, when I get that big, like what's it going to be like? And, you know, say, same with Rev Rider, he said someone, someone recognized him at Halloween kind of thing. So it's like, uh, you know, how do you guys, how do you deal with it? Do you get more this year? Or now you get your wrap, you're easy to pick out, right? Yeah, it's, it's actually interesting. I've had a lot of people say they've seen me this year, but I haven't really talked to anyone. Um, I've had more. It's usually when there's like a big event going on in Old Forge, I'll have like four or five people come up to me. Um, but on like a given weekend, it doesn't happen very often. Um, so I think with all the big events canceled this year, that might be why I haven't had a lot of people actually come up and say hi. But it sounds like people are out there seeing me, so they definitely should come up and say hi if they want to. Um, it's always cool to talk sleds and stuff. So yeah, oh, for, yeah sure. for sure, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And I see you in the Shag Boys video. It's like there was Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old somewhere in Old Forge. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. No, that's good. We always have a good time. That's for sure. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm just seeing if we forgot anything else out here. But don't forget. Hopefully, everyone's gone on there and entered to win the draw. And they, people watching this after the fact on the replay, you can still enter it till Wednesday morning. Let's say by 10 a.m. Wednesday morning, and uh, we'll do the draw here live on uh, on Wednesday at noon hour. Sounds and good. Draw that out. So yeah. So what else you got going on? Anything else to speak of there? We 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 got your uh, we got your what your favorite session is. I'll go back and pull that one off. You know, we know you're not getting a new sled, or you might be. You're looking maybe. So we'll see. There you go. Yeah. No. Uh just looking forward to to getting out and actually riding some snow that we, now that we've got some and there's been years we've been able to ride all the way through march i don't know if uh if if that'll happen or not i guess we'll just have to see but uh i'm definitely hoping for it um i don't know if uh if it's if it's going to warm up in the, the extended forecast at all for for the next like week it's supposed to be like single digits here uh fahrenheit so that'll that'll be good keep the snow around at least for for a couple weeks and uh i'll definitely be out and enjoying it and hopefully we get some more and Hopefully we don't get any rain. That's been one good thing about this year is we actually, I don't think I've had any of that. There was maybe a little bit before this big snowstorm hit, but uh, that's uh, that's been one, one nice thing that we've avoided this year anyways. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, to putting some miles on. That's oh. awesome. That's awesome. Well, listen, let, let's wrap this up. Don't forget also, thank you for, uh, for 2B Outerwear for the awesome prizes. And don't forget to enter to win the, the draw here for the 100% waterproof, 100% windproof, 2B Novo 3 monosuit valued at $900 US or $1199.95 Canadian. And, it, and there's a link on screen, 2Boutowear.com slash pages slash snowmobile dash sessions. And uh, fill out the ballot there by 10 a.m. Eastern on Wednesday morning. And we're going to do the draw at noon on, on Wednesday morning. And also don't forget to check out our other sponsor, Energy Power Sports. They're Oakville's full-line BRP dealer energypowersports.ca and uh and that's it so thank you so much guys everybody for watching thank you bobby we'll look forward to seeing rich i think we're off next week because of family day and that other day is a president's day in the u.s yeah, yeah. and then uh, and then we'll see you in uh, two uh, weeks and uh steve w says go make some great videos swanky will do heck yeah okay Okay, we'll run the we'll run the, the credits here. Away we go. Thanks, boys. Thanks for having me on. No problem. Anytime, man. We'll we'll get you back, okay? For sure. Let me know. Yeah. Sounds I will. good. Thanks, Bobby. It's a journey for life and I'm yours.